and he showed me this. This is a matter of turning this from black and gray to color. He said, I can't do this in color. I'm thinking about your skin long term. You know, I just don't think you can do what I ask for. No, color's not an issue for Mike. I think there was just a miscommunication there. Well, now I don't trust him. Why? You didn't listen to me. It comes back with something totally different than I asked for. I don't want to do it with you. If I can't get what I want, then I'm done. <clears throat> I am completely screwed right now. The four artists who are not chosen to be on either team will be eliminated. There's no way I'm going home today. I am getting a shop in this competition. For this round, the style and subject of your tattoo are completely up to you. Get set up to tattoo and we'll bring in your canvases. This is it. It's my head on the chopping block right now. I mean, I need to prove myself. This kind of pressure I never knew existed. This is definitely an O situation. How much of it is up to me? Ribs or something like that? No, no, ribs is horrible for this. This is going to be an eyeball? Yeah. In the head? And the yeah. I don't know, I don't know. My canvas won't let me do anything. A skull, maybe? I can't do a skull, there's no way. What's going on, guys? You need to get tattooing. I know, I know. I really want him to, you know. I'm nervous to get a skull. He doesn't um, like any of the ideas I have. I don't want to do a skull. Out. I don't know how I'm going to explain that to my son. I'm too nervous to do what she wants to do. This mother douchebag is not going to destroy my chance at this I guess you should call somebody else in there. I don't have a canvas. I don't have a tattoo. He was stressing me out. Come here. Come on. Yeah. I can y'all everything. Relax. Hey, look who it is. Oh, you're beautiful. Hey. Hi. Hi. I want to do a really hot girl with an eye in the middle, dripping color. That sounds dope. Dope as You have five hours remaining. It's gonna go down, bitches. Watch your ex. Alicia Bob. Well, Alicia, I think you have a lot to offer. You have creative ideas, you have a style, but your technical application is short. I wanted to do more. I was really out of time. The color's not solid. It doesn't look strong. You wanted to show textures, solid colors, strong outlines, and you missed the mark on every bit of it. Five artists stand here. Four of you are about to go home. Chris, your last choice. Pretty much leaning towards Carolyn. Are we in agreement? Yep. 100%. Yes. Carolyn, it is. Carolyn, welcome to the team. All right, that's it. The teams are full, and there are no more shops. And that means Alicia, Raphael, Danielle, and Princess Hilla. The judges have decided you do not have what it takes to compete for the title of Ink Master. The judges are crazy. Everybody wanted me here. Please pack your machines. Today, you must all tattoo the exact same subject. Seeing your tattoos side by side will make it obvious how your texture stacks up against the competition. Today, you must tattoo a phoenix. A phoenix is a fiery, mythological bird that goes up in flames and rises from the ashes to be reborn. This is gonna be tough. You have feathers, you got flames, you have beaks. We gotta balance all those textures in one piece. So your pieces look very intricate. Mm -hmm. And I'm very simple. Nothing like that is going on my body. So you want a non-intricate phoenix to show texture. Phoenixes are complicated. It's a bird with plumage and feathers and texture and fire. As long as you understand, like I said, simple. We need to show texture or there's no reason me doing the piece. When you first meet someone and they tell you what they want to do, no, we're going to have to work together. I'm willing to compromise, but you don't just come out and say what I'm going to do. That's not even debatable. OK, that's fine. Calm down. OK. I won't do anything you don't want me to do. OK. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do. Simple. So the challenge is to show texture. But like my client wants it simple. She's super competitive with me, too. Man, danger is definitely going to be in trouble today. She, she's coming in here with a switchblade and a taser. That's a big part of tattoos, getting along with your customer, dude. I don't want some dickhead tattooing me, dude, honestly. Hi. 
what are your thoughts? Did you see the drawing? Listen, wait a minute. Before we begin, we're good? Because yesterday we kind of ended not good. We, we good today? Well, I'm great today. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because you were kind of yelling yesterday, so I just want to... I wasn't sure. yelling. You yelled. I'm in a good mood. Okay. Yeah, I've been good all morning. Okay. Me and you have an issue? Don't pretend like nothing didn't happen. Don't pretend like ain't right. I'm a real person. This is how I would like to do it, with right. more line work. Like, I don't like this part. I like this. Now she's nitpicking my drawings. It's like, what the f We got to be in between. I need to add a little something, so we got to make some changes. I feel good about his design. I'm happy. If we can get the attitude in line with the design, we're going to make the best tattoo. So you like this part here? I'll look at it again when you're done, but that's not what I initially said. She keeps riding me and riding me. My adrenaline's pumping. I'm getting nervous. I'm freaking out. You nervous? Your hand is shaking. Yeah, you affect my mood, but I am. I affect your mood. I am going to be good. But your hand is shaking. A little bit. It'll be fine. James is about to pick something up and ink my body, and he's telling me I affect his mood. James, you're making me nervous because your hand is shaking. And... My hand's fine. Your hand is shaking. Look at it. Yeah, it's shaking a little bit. Are you it's up to you if you want to sit. Are or you not. nervous? No, I'm not nervous. It does your hand usually. Do you understand why that would make me nervous? Dealing with a little bit of confrontation, I'm never good with, and that's all that is. If someone looks nervous, your artist, and they're shaking, you would be a little concerned, wouldn't you? If you're going to ignore me, that's going to be a well, problem. Well, no, because I'm trying to calm down, and you're aggravating the situation. So I'm just trying, I'm just trying to get to my zen. I need you to calm me. I need you to calm get, me well, down. Well, I need to get in my zen so I can tattoo you. Well, I'm the one getting the tattoo that's permanent. I need to know that you're good. I'm the one who's nervous. Make me feel confident in you. That's what your job is. You realize you're putting a tattoo on a person, right? Mm hmm If you don't care, keep it real. Tell me. I did. I'll I told you. I've never had a client do this to me before. Do I've what? never had a client never sit and pick at me. I've never had a tattoo artist and shake in Because you're being sitting nervous. and you're picking at me this whole time. So you don't care, really, that makes me nervous. It's all about the tattoo. Say it now, we're done. You know what? You're right. I don't th I'm not the artist for you. I really don't think I am. That's it. I'm done. No one's ever going to do anything to me that I don't feel good about. And if I have to be the queen bitch, I will be the queen bitch, but you're not touching me. Oh, my God. I'm I almost had a panic attack, man. I'm petrified this is going to cost me this competition. I definitely think Danger's screwed now. His canvas left. Nobody wants to get tattooed by an ass. He might get eliminated. Danger clearly handled his situation wrong. This is a person, and you have to understand the dynamics of what it takes to connect with the person. He obviously has no freaking clue on how to do that. I am mentally shot. I'm like, OK, well, it. I'll tattoo myself. No, I'm not going to destroy my leg. I'm not going to put that phoenix on my leg. James Danger. We talked to you about what happened in your shop, and do you have anything that you'd like to add? I was really excited when Phoenix came up. Just the way that she wanted it done, I'm not trying to babysit. It's just grabbing your client and taking control of the situation out of the gate, because then this thing escalated. So if she was that pain in the ass client, you had to put on the extra charm pants, kiss her ass, but get her comfortable with you. I was in such a peaceful and complacent mood. Your hand was trembling. I really feel I did the absolute best that I could. You were the one that said, maybe I'm not the tattooer for you. At that point, you let her walk. She looked at me and didn't like me. You then had a luxury that nobody else had. You had the chance to tattoo the perfect client yourself. And no I one's going to tell you how to do it I disagree. or what to put in there. No one else had I that wasn't luxury. Gonna, I wasn't going to. You gonna, then had the easiest customer. I was going to let her affect the rest of my life to put something on my leg that I didn't want. You guys are trying to win $100,000. And of any and I situation that I would ever tattoo myself in, it would have been that. Something tiny, just you know to what? put something in. Because otherwise, you have nothing to show for. At the end of this, we have to have something to look at. The only fair thing that we can really do is look at your past work. The garter from yesterday's flash challenge. The quality of this tattooing is totally, totally, totally off. That's what I had to go here, bro. I deserve to be here. Not from that tattoo. If Maddie could outline, you would have been gone yesterday in the Flash Challenge. I could give a million different excuses why it went down the way it did, and James, I'm not going James, to. James, hold up. We don't need to hear anything. The judges have decided. 
James, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Had you have won an elimination, then we obviously wouldn't be able to launch you. You I could have potentially playing it safe in out. the middle, the first two. That doesn't work here. You got to charge it every single time. You got to go after it and try to pull a W. Please pack your machines and close shop. The judges keep saying being Ink Master, part of that is being able to deal with problem clients. No, it's not. I don't tattoo problem clients. I think it's ridiculous. Tara, welcome back. Your artist was Dawn. Yes. And you received <laughs> what is infamously named the Pig Lady. No! Today, you must bring a pinup to life. All right, I think we're ready to do something. Tell me what you're unhappy with. The entire thing. It's not a pinup girl. There was a clubbed foot. There was. Oh my God. Her face, I don't know what happened. It wasn't even attractive. You know when you go in and you see your stencil and you're yeah. like, this is exactly what I'm getting? Yes. I didn't get that. He just kind of had it sketched. She has a war paint on her face. Nope, there won't <laughs> be a black line. I see it in my head fine. Looks like she has really big feet. There's perspective, mm -hmm. their feet are closer to you. Did you feel that he steamrolled you? There's a difference of guiding and saying, no, I don't think this is gonna work, than just shutting a person down and just kind of making them feel stupid. You put your skin on the line and he you up. He did. I mean, I'm more angry that I have to pay to get it covered up. So this is costing you money. Wow. I'm really sorry that you had that experience. What would you say if I told you that I have an artist standing by willing to work with you on a design of your choice today? Okay. If the artist isn't working with you to make you happy, you can walk out of here. Does that sound like something you'd be willing to do? Willing to give it a shot. Oh my God. Head into the shop and meet this artist. Thank you. I am so nervous right now. I'm just hoping that Ink Master is gonna make it up to me because I got a hand dealt to me with Don. Oh no. Oh. They didn't tell me it was gonna be you. <laughs> Did you like the tattoo? I hated the okay. tattoo. I'm not gonna lie, that tattoo has haunted uh, me for quite a while, and I've actually been looking forward to making it right. Like, I already gave you one shot. I don't know if I can do it again. Then why are we standing here? <laughs> Guys! I don't think I'm comfortable with letting him tattoo me again. I was not proud of that tattoo. Every time I see it, I cringe a little bit and kind of <laughs> wish, I can like, imagine. I had well, another it chance. it was on my body, so, so <laughs> I had to walk around with it. Oh, I understand that completely. Before you walk out of here, I think that I might have a really good solution. OK. Why don't you come on in here, buddy? <laughs> OK. You may know this gentleman, Clean Rock One. What's up? I do. Don, I know Don. you know Clean. Now, Clean has agreed to work tag team with Don, and after these guys design, you still have the right to say, you know what, it's not for me. Are you willing to try that? Yes, as long as you guys can work together. I definitely don't need Clean's help. I'm here for redemption, not him. We're gonna make sure he doesn't up your leg. Same old Clean. So what are we talking? I want a baby calf. Okay. To go with all my other animals that I have. Well, why don't you just give us a second? Uh, we got to just figure out some strategy. All right. I hope you guys can find something I like. Okay. <laughs> I don't think any tattooer needs any other tattooer's help. I definitely don't need clean soap. You pulled an old doozy on her leg there, huh? I hated that tattoo the minute I got finished with it. I think if you just reassure her with a good drawing, I think she's going to be happy. Just try not to this thing up, man. Move over and get out of my way, because the big dog's coming through. We're gonna make sure that you are 100% happy. Your calf would be perfect. Yeah. And then it's a calf. So you, you know, that's what I said. I wanted like a calf on my calf. calf. Yeah, that was, I'm already ahead of you. Super cute. <laughs> I'm already ahead of you. Super cutesy. Don just gives you blank stares. Being around him is really hard. I didn't realize how mad I was until I saw him. When I was eliminated from Ink Master season five, I knew I didn't put out my best work. You have very few areas of precision in the entire tattoo. This tattoo's poorly drawn and it's poorly executed. This is my chance to show everyone that I'm an amazing tattoo artist. Clean, Don, come on over. Tell me about the design process with these guys. Primarily, I felt like I was talking to Clean. Why were you speaking strictly with Clean? It's really nerve wracking seeing the person that you were really angry with. 
I didn't know it was going to be him. I definitely could tell he didn't know it was going to be me. This is an opportunity, obviously, for her to get something that she's super happy with, but also for you to show the world that you got more. Absolutely. Do you want to take a look at the design? OK. Wow. And of course, this is a rendering. Yeah. Anything you don't like, it's not permanent until it's exactly. in you. This is what you wanted. It's all up to you. You can get this tattoo, or you can go home. I don't think I can let you guys both tattoo me. I'm sorry. John, I'm just uncomfortable to be around you. When yeah. I saw you, I immediately wanted to run out of the room. I think that's probably more because of the tattoo experience. Our dynamic is just off. There's tension. It's just, I don't want to do it. <laughs> OK, Tara, this is your body. This is your choice. Thanks for trying, guys. <laughs> Wow, I'm sorry, buddy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just want to like flip a couch over, honestly. Yeah, I understand. That's infuriating. Not only is Don's pinup famous, but he just got owned by the chick he did it on. I definitely don't think Don got redemption on this one. I guess let's pack it up. I've given her everything she wanted, and how I've conducted myself has given me redemption already. She can't attack my artwork, so she's gonna make up reasons and attack my character. F her. Hey, you can't win them all, man. Get ready to be put to the test. Oh, boy. There are two tables of skulls today. In this elimination tattoo, it's the luck of the draw. Oh, man, are you kidding me? My fate can be in the crazy hands of a skull pick? Each of you must choose one skull from each table. One table of skulls will determine your style, and one table of skulls will determine your subject. I'll do any style, any time, any place. Bring it on. Japanese. What? Your specialty. Pin up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I've won before, and I can win again. Japanese pinups, the geisha girl. I never even thought about ever getting a tattoo of a geisha. Geishas are beautiful. I mean, they're a classic. Anything else Japanese, I think I would go with. I just, I don't think I could do a geisha, man. I'm sorry. I don't want to have that on my body. The biggest tattoo in my life in line to get top three. You think you're going to pull with me, bro? You're Kinda. killing me right now. I just, I, I can't do the geisha. Uh-oh. Sorry, brother. This sucks. I'm so close to the top three, and I have no canvas. Dave. What's up? Dude, I'm freaking out, man. My guy went home. He didn't want to get a geisha or nothing. My thing is Japanese. Sorry, dude, I'm just a little shaking. That's right, just calm down. We'll get you a replacement. Really? Yeah. He's supposed to be a blank canvas. It's not on you. All right? Yeah, yeah you'll be okay. Happy for that. Thank you so Just much relax. for saving me, dude. You got it, buddy. For saving me, man. How you doing, dude? Good to see you. Great John. Do you want to get a tattoo? Yeah, for sure. I was thinking of doing a design like this, yeah. you know, with this, like, teals and stuff. Yeah. Can we put it on your leg? Yeah. You're cool with getting it? Yeah, there, totally. Man? Absolutely, 100%. Dude, you're saving my life. You don't even know, bro. It's okay, man. It's, it's, it's all good. Dude, I gotta stop shaking for a second, bro. Dude, it's all good. Thanks, man. No problem. Dude, I swear the universe brought you to me, John. How about the meaning of just, like, helping out somebody when they need you? That's cool, too, man. <laughs> well, then, you know, this is your good fortune tattoo, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Somebody thank you. All I need to do is shake these nerves off. Lucky for me, I've tattooed many times while having a panic attack, so I can handle this. I just need to really focus and get into the finale. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, my god. It looks great, dude. Wow. Awesome, man. Jason's tattoo has a little baby hand. He needs to be worried about losing his spot in the finale and going home. Jason. You obviously had trouble with your first canvas. How was your head going into this? I was freaking out. I'm trying to get in the top three, and then that happens. It took me a while to kind of calm down, but I did the best I could. Yes, you did a geisha, but yes, this geisha has many problems. Her face is as bold as her robe. And when we really get into traditional Japanese, the garment is the boldest, and everything trickles down from there, which gives us our separation. You can't have same line weight in a face that you do in a garment. The things that stand out to me as being awkward is that little tiny hand that's peeking out. That hand does not look like it goes with this person. Man, I think this tattoo is OK. I don't think it's amazing. Christine, welcome back.
Thank you. Your artist was Ryan Eternal. Yes, he was. Oh, new school. I do a lot of new school, but I don't think we're going to go fully new school. I think we should do it like a neo-traditional. Ryan was the one that I probably wouldn't have picked because he was a new school artist. That's not my style. So you initially wanted a crow, and what you ended up with is like a weird little head poking out it's of a- It's a weird little head and a weird skull on the other with this scroll work through the center. It doesn't look like a crow. It looks like a blue jay. There are no feathers. Disappointing. And at a certain point, you agreed to have that tattooed. Are you a little mad at yourself? I am a little mad at myself because I could have said no and had him draw something up for me, but I didn't think he'd be able to do it. Well, Christine, I'm really sorry that you had that experience because we want to make you happy. Without you, we don't have a competition. I have an artist in the shop now willing to work with you on any design that you want. If you like that design, you are more than welcome to get that tattoo. If you don't like it, you're out of here. What do you say? It doesn't hurt to look. Well, Christine, your artist is waiting in the shop. Okay. When you head in there and meet him. Thank you. Take care. I am nervous because I don't want to get another tattoo like the first one. I just don't want to have a feeling of regret again. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> this is a surprise. A little shocked. Me too. Are you going to fix it? I'll do whatever you need. I don't think it's fixable. Well, I can take a look at it and see. I've had several artists look at it. They that's, say it's not fixable. Well, that's crazy, because I've had people like it a lot on internet and stuff, so. Yeah. But hey, I'll do whatever you need to make it right. I mean, I want you to be happy. We can do this. I don't know if we can. All right, guys, I will explain what's happening here. Obviously, Christine is upset with the tattoo she got. Right. Now, I have another artist standing by. Come on in. Our own returning Ink Master champion, Jason Clay Dunn. Nice to meet you, this is Christine. Christine. Pleased to meet you. Christine may or may not have an idea for another tattoo. And what I'd like you guys to do is each design it. Okay. Then you'll be presented with both designs, but you won't know who did which one. If she doesn't like either design, she's out of here. But are you least willing to see the designs I'm these guys come to? I'm willing to see the designs. Okay, roger that. What's our game plan? What are, what are you looking to do? I want realistic. I can handle that. I want a woman holding a skull with a crow on her shoulder. That looks like a crow. Looks like a crow. crow needs to look like a crow. Well, of Remember course. That? Yeah, I do. How could I forget? This is exactly the opportunity that I've been wanting. Well, let me hit the books then. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's make it happen. If I get my art picked over Jason's, that's a win right there to me. Tell me about this piece. Okay, well, she's here. obviously here and pissed here, off. Here's the situation. Basically, I did a new school on someone who wants realism. I know she's upset, but... Is she so crazy that she won't get a tattoo from either of us, you think? If it's what she wants, she'll get it. Ryan really is the one that needs to make right with this, but I am the ink master, and if there's some unhappy canvases out there that got hurt along the way in this competition, I need to make it right. In this particular design, you really gotta plan it out. Right. Well, we really gotta wow her with the drawing is what it is. Yeah. Ryan and Jason, come on over here and bring your designs. As you know, this is a blind pick for her. So. Good. All right, Christine, you want to come in here? OK, Christine, what did you want exactly? A beautiful woman mm -hmm. holding a skull with a crow. OK, well, I have two designs here, both done by these gentlemen. You ready to take a look? Yeah, All sure. All right, design number one, beautiful woman, skull, mm -hmm. crow. And here's design number two, woman, skull, crow. Both very different takes on the same idea. You can choose one or the other or neither. They're both beautiful, but I'm not going to get either one tattooed on me. OK. Fair enough. Any particular reason? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Understood, and that is your right. Knowing that you're not going to get tattooed, which one do you like best? I like the full body on this one, but I like the darker one better. Gentlemen, who did the darker one? Jason Clay Dunn. And design number two, Ryan Eternal. I knew that that was your drawing. Did you really? Yes, because the crow is the same shape as the crow that you did, and so is the skull. I don't even get it. You're getting like a $1,000-plus tattoo for nothing. That's not the point of I it. I feel like we accomplished well, everything 
that you wanted. I think that being in this environment again was where she had a bad experience and she doesn't want to put herself through that risk again. Is that okay. correct? That's correct. Fair enough. To come on here and do a bad tattoo, I know what that feels like. I've done a few. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. So it's like, if I didn't get the tattoo, fine, but I wanted to see Brian redeem himself. It sucks. I really wanted to come back and make it right. Well, all right, dude. We tried, brother. It's all good, man. Let's go home. To not get that second chance is a real shot to the gut, man. I feel like she had the opportunity and she wasted it. Today, you must create pixelated tattoos. Pixelated? What? what? Damn. Is there an instruction booklet for pixel tattoos? I have no idea how to make one of those. A pixelated tattoo is taking an image and breaking that down into individual squares and individual colors. They take forever to do. Let's meet your canvases. I would like a color illustrative motorcycle pixelating down a racetrack. That might be a tricky one. There's so much details in this motorcycle. Nah, bro, I don't want this. You can ride your pixelated motorcycle right out the door. Mike. Right here, I got you, man. So motorcycle was the idea. Yeah, like a drag racing motorcycle. Say the pixelated doesn't fit very well with the motorcycle. What other ideas did you have? Oh, well, that was what I really wanted to get today. Maybe kind of difficult and One of the this. things I think is cool about it is that, I mean, that's one thing you can use to denote the speed, because all the pixels flying off the back. I'm worried that there's a lot of details. All right, the other thing I want is a woman riding the bike. This is a design that I can crash and burn on. We definitely had to go with some black and gray to make sure that we yeah. get a little detail. Yeah, that's fine. So you flexible on that part? Yeah. Awesome, nice. What kind of colors are you going to use? With this, black and gray is going to be the best thing to uh, keep. That's not what I asked for, man. I asked for the graphic, vibrant color. That's what yeah. I want. No, but you did say we were kind of open with the Talked whole thing, about right? some of the background, having some gray and... No, that's with the motorcycle parts. No, I want color. It's, it's not going to... It, it won't work. You're gonna give me a tattoo, it's gonna be a color tattoo, buddy. Yeah, well, but with the... What no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. What's going on? I asked for a color tattoo. He came and he showed me this. It's just a matter of turning this from black and gray to color. He said, I can't do this in color. I'm thinking about your skin long term. You know, I just don't think you can do what I asked for. No, color's not an issue for Mike. I think there was just a miscommunication there. Well, now I don't trust him. Why? You didn't listen to me, and it comes back with something totally different than I asked for. I don't want to do it with you. If I can't get what I want, then I'm done. <clears throat> I am completely screwed right now. I even tried to talk him down. I even told him, hey, give me a chance. Let me, let me talk to you. And he was like, no. If I don't do a tattoo today, this could be it. I could be going home. I hate getting tattooed, but I'll, I'll go put some shorts on, bro. We could do a clean black and gray rose and pixelate it good. Pull it up, let's look at some references. All right, cool. <sighs> Damn! I'll be light on you, man, I promise. Bro, you better. I'll kick you in your balls so hard. So what I was thinking of doing, too, was putting a triangle. Yeah, we're definitely going to do a triangle. See, we're already on the same page, dude. I'm telling you. Just don't make it hurt. <laughs> I appreciate you jumping in. You guys are in the <laughs> I'm in it with you, right? Yeah. This is why I picked to be on Anthony's team, because of who he is. And the fact that he steps up and he's jumping in says a whole lot. But at the same time, I feel like I'm taking my coach away from the team. Man, I'm a whole big old bag of complications. I got it. You were sweating, bro. Fresh real estate. Is the air on over here? <laughs> got you, bud. Here, I'm here. I'll coach you through it. I'm vested in my team just as much as they are in me. I'm putting my flesh on the line to save somebody I don't know. That's what this competition is about. You are 10 times a better coach. I might even call you a better man at this point. <laughs> I'm not even lying, bro. I'm busy being a human canvas. So walking my artist through the rest of this tattoo is pretty much impossible. This hurts. If I went home just because my canvas walked out, God, it would be devastating. I grew up in the projects with a single mom, and we literally had nothing. Ever since I was little, I was determined to be successful. I can't thank you enough for jumping in. Oh, uh, bro. Hey, it means a lot. Mike. Anytime you have somebody walk, there's a reason for that. I don't blame the guy, but I personally like this tattoo. It definitely shows precision. You probably have some of the nicest squares that are outlined. Your shading is very nice and smooth. It's a beautiful tattoo.
Are you okay? Do you yes. want to move or something? No, I'm fine. To tattoo, you need to sit still. I'm okay. just trying not to that your mess life. up your lines. <laughs> One little move can ruin the whole tattoo. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Animals. Oh, you're cool. In an animal tattoo, in order to create dimension, you have to have lights and darks. You have to blend it in a way that tricks the eye into thinking that it's no longer a two-dimensional canvas. Animal tattoos are one of the most popular designs done in tattoo shops today. You will have six hours to tattoo an animal in any style. Good luck. Oh my god. Yeah. My canvas wants a portrait style jaguar. You know, I'm super stoked about it. It's perfect. I'm gonna show a lot of dimension. This is the exact design that I need to win. Hopefully the pain won't be that bad. <laughs> I don't there wanna be are. that girl. Oh, that's so unpleasant. I feel like a little bit nauseous right now. I'm concerned. Is it the pain, you know? You want me to just give you like a little break? I can just stretch out a minute. Damn, we just freaking started. How are you feeling right now? I'm like really dizzy right now. My canvas, she's just not feeling well. Take a deep breath. I'm praying to everything for her to feel better. I really want to finish this tattoo. <sighs> Try and relax. I'm just nauseous and I'm dizzy. Like I don't feel good right now at all. <sighs> Two more hours remaining, everybody. <sighs> <sighs> you think you're gonna throw up? Why is this happening to me? Right now. Oh, God. Somebody popped. This is the worst thing you can have happen. She's a good tattoo artist. She could be going home just because the canvas can't sit. She's in trouble. Oh, my God. It really, really sucks if my canvas doesn't let me finish this tattoo. I'm going home. Ten more minutes, everybody. How are you feeling? You feel like you could do a little bit more? As time is ticking down, I'm trying to finish the rest of this tattoo as fast as I can. Will you ever do another five-hour tattoo? Hell no. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, mm. three, two, one. Time. That's it. Machine's down. No more ink. <sighs> I mean, I like it for what it is. I am so freaking upset. Like, words cannot explain how I'm feeling right now. I know that having an unfinished tattoo is going to send me home. That's it, it's done. Bye-bye, tattoo baby. This week, we asked you to create an animal tattoo. We're testing dimension. Tattoo baby. How are you, doll? Still kind of stressed. I didn't get to finish the tattoo. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. I'm just nauseous and I'm dizzy. Like, I don't feel good right now at all. Oh, God. <laughs> I had about an hour left when she felt better. The little textures of the fur, when you can tell the direction of the little hairs, the way you put the solid black where it needs to be, the multicolors you use to show dimension is really, really nice. You had so much opposition from your client being sick. You pulled off all kinds of cool tricks in here. They definitely didn't want to give you a boring tattoo. The white highlights were key for you. The green eyes are beautiful. I cannot believe this is the same person that did the first tattoo in <laughs> week one. Holy you have turned it around immensely. Really? I'm happy to see that you did this quality job. You had a lot against you, and you pulled off a lot of tricks in half the time of everybody else. For that, we commend you. Today, you must tattoo Medusa. From Greek mythology, Medusa is a monster with snakes for hair, who turns any man that dares look at her into stone. Composition is crucial to legibility. There's a lot of really tiny detail when it comes to a Medusa. You have snakes in her hair, a pretty face. They are really easy to screw up. Based on your work, one of you will be the first artist to close shop. Ooh. Good luck. Medusas are the Achilles heel for all tattooers. It takes a pretty lady's face, it takes perfect snakes, it takes perfect composition. You want to do like a bust so you can get more detail in like the snakes and the head? Yes. Okay, perfect. Full body Medusa. 
Full body. With a skull face. Skull face. Looking down at a victim she's turned to stone. Jesus, God. This is a pressure cooker, in my opinion. The snakes are about done, if that's any consolation. Uh, that's it. No, I got to do the face. I know how to do faces better than most of the people in this room. I'm getting up. I'm taking a break. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to get some soda. Do you need to do that right now? We only have six hours. I'm stressing whether or not I'm going to get this tattoo finished or not. Trim me as fast as you can. We're on a time limit. She's freaking me out. Hey, what's up? Chilling while she pees forever. My worst fear is coming true. I think I'm going to go get her. You doing OK, dear? Yeah, I'm in the bathroom. OK, no, they <laughs> worry. What the hell Sorry. is everybody doing? Three hours, guys. Halfway done. You're just getting me paranoid, girl. You're scaring me. If I don't finish, I'm out of here. I definitely want to take another break. That's for damn sure. OK. I can't afford to take several 20-minute breaks. Get it together, lady. Today, you had to show perfect composition by tattooing Medusa. Team Nunez, let's see how you did. Nikki, I love this tattoo. The face is beautiful. The composition is really great. You don't have tons of snakes, but what you do have are dynamic. The part of the tattoo that I do not like is the two pieces of body directly over the top of her forehead. Those look like green bananas, not snakes. But you still gave her a beautiful tattoo. You have six hours to tattoo a difficult part of the body. And based on your work, one of you will be going home. Good luck. How do you want to do it? Apocalypse Angel, okay. he has a staff standing by a tombstone with the crow there with his hand out. Do you want to do like a full body type of thing? Yeah. I'm at the mercy of this asshole who will not budge on his idea. Do you feel comfortable just doing him? Nah, man. I need it to look like this apocalyptic in the background. You know, I'm going to put a background behind it. Mm. That's a lot of to cram into a six hour tattoo on the ribs, you know. There's no way I'm going to be able to pull this off. Keep pushing through. Yeah, man. Get this man. Yeah, I got it right. Hey, I think Kyle's in trouble. Kyle's dude's hurt a little bit. And the drawing sucks. There's some real shaky lines in it. You think his drawing's better than TJ's? TJ's is realism. You can't tell what it is. Get the out of stop. here. When you guys were on top, it was all fun. You guys no. wanted to run your mouse and Dude. talk a bunch of and now you lost two in a row, and your people went home. That's how it goes. Wait till your dudes start going happen. home. And it's going to happen. I know it. My chemist wants a 16-hour tattoo condensed into six hours. But he's squirming like a little bitch. God. Damn. Damn. All right. That's. Oh. All right. You're going to finish it, man. No. I have the coffin. Ah. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas. And this dude is done. I think I'm going home. Don't plan your funeral before your body dies. Even if he was being a dick, Kyle is still my little brother, and I love him, and I want him to do well. It's so difficult knowing that I can't do anything to help him out. I dropped the ball today. Cheer up. Cheer no. Up. Cheer the up. It's hard. Gonna go pack my bags. Oh my God, Kyle, <laughs> killing me. Today, you were being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Kyle. I like the illustration, but you shaded over your own artwork. What you're missing here, man, is different values. Contrast. You've got one tone of black. You got the same value in the cloak, the beard, the staff the hood, the wing, and the background. I definitely would have gone in there with more tones had he been able to sit longer. This one's probably the biggest struggle you've had since you've been here. Today, you must tattoo a portrait of an animal. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a portrait guy. Animal portraits require a lot of texture, a lot of tips, a lot of tricks, a lot of bells and whistles to make it look like the fur was on purpose. If you don't have the constant experience under your belt to do a portrait, it's never gonna look good. I don't care how good of a tattooer you are. Make this thing legible. Make every texture feelable, touchable, movable. And I wanna be able to feel these things in my mind. I wanna know that there's feathers or there's fur or there's scales or it's wet. Whatever it is, it's gotta be obvious to the look. Precision with photorealism is pretty much cut and dry. Your tattoo needs to look like the photo. If it doesn't, you really missed precision. 
I do this every day. This is what I do. Fail to impress the judges, and you will be sent home. Good luck. Have you ever had the back of your thigh done? I have. All right, so you're thinking like right here? Yeah. Are you opposed to the front? I don't really like the look of two thigh pieces, just, just not okay. my look. This is the one day I can't afford to slip up. I'm doing something I don't do. I'm gonna probably take this tattoo to the wire. That means a full six. My only concern is I don't want you tapping out or you hurt and be the reason I go home. Yeah. Because no. I'm so freaking close. Yes. I literally have no idea how to pull this off. Like, you can already pack my bags, I'm going home. Tony, put it on the back. Mm -hmm. That's the only place she wants it. Making it this far in a competition like this is tough. Anything can happen in these final tattoos. If you're not at your best every day, that could be your last. They're judging off of that photo, you know, so just try and do everything you can to keep as much as you can, you know? Okay. I'm not known as a photorealism guy, but I do do it. So I gotta do everything I can to try and coach my guys to get to the end. I'm doing a tattoo that I've never done before and I don't know how to do, so I'm learning as I go. The bottom will hurt a little bit more. I want to come out of this competition a stronger tattooer with a stronger mindset. I have it in me, I just gotta find it and pull it out. You know what? Uh, I'm not even in. Do some little intervals. Keep her in the chair and noodle away. She's flopping around like a fish out of water. It's not efficient when you have to take a break every 10 minutes. This is top five. I'm so close, but this is the one challenge that could send me packing. I tried. I know, you did good. You, you did the best you could. That's all I can ask for. Today, you had to be precise and tattoo an animal portrait. Tony. At first glance, you capture what the animal is, but for precision in your tattoo, you're missing this jowl, that heavy muscle, so that that thing would be able to grab a crocodile by the head and pull it up the riverbank. The other thing is, I am not a fan of the white whiskers with nothing backing them. That's a crazy play, but it's tough to not recognize a cat with spots on it for what it is. So in that way, I think you got a blessing and a curse. There's an upside to this and a downside. If you looked at the actual photo, there were way too many things that just didn't match. The fact that even the spots didn't match, it's precision, it's being accurate. Hitting the portrait, there's a lot of discrepancies, I agree 100%. At one point, I realized I'm not gonna be able to recreate this image. So at that point, my goal was just to do a, the most badass leopard I could and to make sure I could at least make the tattoo look like it's supposed to. Just on precision day, those are the areas that we're gonna have some problems with. Well, I was given a leopard and it looks like one. Explain the black streaks coming off of the chin into the whiskers, outside of the face. There's not a spot on that face that's accurate. Neither of them are accurate. It's gotta count for something on precision day. However, in the world, when they look at this animal, the spots, luckily for this, don't lie. One way or the other, it's a leopard. You'll have six hours to tattoo any subject in any style. Uh, so no excuses. Good luck. I'm planning to do for you the realistic roles. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Being able to tattoo anything you want in this competition is a huge gift. Cool, man. If you're able to do anything you want, you shouldn't have to defend it. This is what I do, animals and food, so <laughs> it's like perfect. I love blind critiques because a lot of times the artists think that we're out for them. I love that because it goes right with your tricep. Yeah. We will critique each one unbiasedly. We call it like we see it, just talking about art. You ready? Yep. <laughs> My canvas, she's in a huge pain and she's always moving. <laughs> it's really hard for me to tattoo her. <laughs> you gotta give me two seconds, please. I'm doing it very gently. Trust me. It's not, I don't know what you want me to do. It hurts. And you're not really being like encouraging or trying to distract me. It hurts. I know that it hurts. And you knew that it's going to be hurt. Yes, every time you wipe in, you're sc scratching me with the paper towel. Let's run to the bathroom. I'm scared that my canvas cannot handle this pain. I'm really worrying that I cannot finish this that time. time. I'm just gonna get wrapped up and go. You what? I'm just gonna get wrapped up and go. You don't want to continue? No. Can you explain me why? Because I need to understand. I mean, I, I think your bedside manner is a little off. I feel like 
really uncomfortable, which I shouldn't. With me? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I really, I didn't want to do something wrong. The only, I was trying to do the beautiful art for you. Yeah, and I know. And the limited I appreciate... time make me rush. Yeah, I understand. I just feel... If you feel uncomfortable, I understand. If I'll go home for this tattoo, it would break my heart. I cannot go home for my roses. How'd it go, Pony? Did you finish? No. What? I was like 70 crosses down. What happened? She was a really big pain. When I feel that I have not enough time, I start rushing. And after all this pain, she thought that I'm not gentle to her. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. All right, guys, today we're testing artistry and we're judging blind. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. You don't know who did what, and this is completely as brutally honest as can be. Hope you are ready for a long distance ass kicking. Let's take a look at the last tattoo. The center of this thing looks beautiful and rich. We can only assume this is not finished. I'm looking at the exterior. Why damage the skin with some scratchy little green line so that you can just come back and damage the skin more? There's a good chance that this client said, man, you're killing me. I can't sit here any longer because you've been scribbling on me for five hours and I can't take one more hour. I don't know what to say. It's unfinished tattoo. If it will be finished, I think they would say something totally different. Today you're being judged on your artistry with a blind critique. Based only on your work, each of your tattoos have been ranked by the judges. Last tattoo, let's take a look. Okay, Pony. The problem was my canvas cannot handle the pain. If you weren't tattooing over areas that you already pre-tattooed in and might not have hurt her so long and might have been able to finish the tattoo. Those lines, it's just past lines which help me to keep the picture on the skin. That's how I do the photorealism. Pony, you have a lot of talent. If you have to do a tattoo that big, but you outline it, shade it, and color it, and finish it, do it. Let's reveal the lowest ranked tattoo. Pony. I'm not surprised. If it was finished, it'd be a different story. All right, artists, you have six hours to create a pinup tattoo, and your time starts now. All right, brother. What's this? Stand natural for me. Pinups are very tough because there's very small little eyes, a very small little nose, dainty little fingers. So every drop of ink you put on the skin has to be perfect. That's a good spot. It should be cute, it should be attractive, it should be beautiful. That's what makes a pinup a pinup. Perfect stencil, dude. It's gonna be a good day. If a pinup's ugly, she's not coming to meet my mom. All right, here we go. The face is the most important part. This is right where they go in Can't there. Can't up the face, man. No. Pinups are not my thing, but I do a ton of faces and portraits. So with that, I'm good. You okay? Yeah. One thing I'm worried about. So my canvas looks like she's not feeling too good. Excuse me. She's coughing every now and then, and she's just real fidgety. I like burn it up and stuff. Sorry. It was before I came, though. It's not because of the tattoo. If you f up a line at all, you can't fix it. I need my canvas to stay still. You get tattooed and you're not feeling too good, it makes it even worse. I was smart, I did the face first. Could I just say those boots were last, man? It's a tattoo that I knew I could pull off in two and a half hours. Yeah, I'm not gonna tattoo you anymore. Oh, you're not? No. As a tattoo artist, you have to know when enough is enough. So we're gonna call it right there, okay? Okay. It's a good tattoo, it's done well. I just hope that it's enough. Thank you. Have a good day, you're I hope it's a okay? I think it's a winner, man. Today, you had to show artistry, tattooing a pinup. Jarrell. Hi, guys. I really like this girl. I especially love the dark strip of shading that you have down the center of her leg that pushes out. That light source is beautiful. And the way that you get that nice, gentle, soft texture in the shirt really shows well. You're really shining on this one. Jarrell is definitely in the top today. This thing is unique. It's done beautifully. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jarrell. <laughs> He's got artistry on his face. Artists. You have six hours to tattoo an image out of anything but what it is actually made of. And your time starts now. Let's do this. 
Today we're testing ingenuity by having these artists design something that is going to play a trick on the eye. It'll be an image of an object, but the object is made out of other images. Figuring out how to make this out of birds was kind of a nightmare. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that, it's a challenge. You know, that's what we do here. The worst thing the artist could do with these tattoos is create a mess to where we don't know what the actual shape is supposed to be. That's dead smack in the middle. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. This challenge can be a compositional nightmare if you do not have good drawing skills. Are you excited for me to win Tattoo of the Day with this? <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited. Team Christian gave me the tree of life made of snakes. I'm super confident. I love doing snakes. You know, have bright color. Are you okay? Do you yeah. want to move or something? No, I'm fine. To tattoo, you need to sit still. I'm okay. just trying not to is that your mess line? up your lines. <laughs> One little move can ruin the whole tattoo. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. My canvas will not sit still. Time is ticking away. Are you okay? Okay. Like sharp. I have to literally get rid of half of the tree and all the little details that I wanted to put in the snakes to actually make them look like snakes. Your tongues are jacked. Ones at the top. Don't move. Whatever you do, don't move. This cannot be the reason why I go home. Don't move. Do not move. Today, you had to push the limits and tattoo objects composed out of anything but what they're actually made of. Tiara. Hi, Hello. Tiara. Hello. I don't like this one. Me neither. It was supposed to be a lot bigger, but. Because the tree of life is big. Usually, a, yeah. It's yeah, pretty, but I had to get rid of yeah. some of it. My canvas just couldn't get comfortable. The composition of this thing's rough. The shape of the snake heads are all really rough. A lot of line work problems throughout this whole tattoo. No tree here. All I see is a very awkward strand of snakes. For me, this one's a complete miss. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. I would just like to say that my tattoo is still better than the other tattoos. I'd just like to know your thought process. Where in your design can you show me the tree of life? She wanted one that was kind of twisted. You can't tell me the trunk doesn't look like a cartoony illustrated trunk. This does not look like a tree. I feel like the snakes have an artistic approach to it, even if you don't want to call it a tree. I got dealt a pretty canvas. I have the ability to do great tattoos. When I'm looking at JP's tattoo, that's an elephant made out of butterfly parts. Oba composed the face, regardless what the face looks like. If we go over to Tiara's, the overall ask of the day is not there. So I need a final decision, guys. Definitely Tiara. Just based on the challenge, my vote is for Tiara. The judges have decided, Tiara, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I don't agree with you guys. I think TR is definitely a better tattooer than both of those guys put together. You rock, kid. Thanks. Please pack your machines and close shop. I'd be upset with your tattoo if it was on my right. throat but I could probably deal with it with yours, I would actually, I might be pissed off. Remember, artists, after the elimination tattoo, the human canvas jury will vote on the tattoo that they think is the worst and put one artist up for elimination. You may now consult with your human canvases. Then you will have six hours to complete your super villain tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Dude. I don't know what angle you went on this one, man, but I'm pumped on this. I just thought about it. I was like, you know what? If I'm going to win, it's going to be because I did some sick New school this thing up, buddy. I'll just watch you freaking enjoy your way out of this competition. You going to do it that size? Jesus. Yeah. Why? No, I'm just saying it's big for six hours. Jimmy Lit Walk's doing another Jimmy Lit Walk tattoo. It's a cartoon, not a comic. I would try and make that more dynamic. It just looks a little flat. Uh-uh. No. I mean, I guess if that's what you want to do and not do the challenge like you're supposed to. I don't know. I can't argue with you on drawing, so. I've been tattooing for 20 years. I don't really care about Joey's opinion. I got this. I take what I do know of Poison Ivy and create my own version of what this character is. I don't necessarily know that New School's ever going to come up in the challenges, but I figure this is going to be the closest thing that I'm going to get to really, really put it out there, so. This is my style of tattooing. So for me, I'm in a good running to win this challenge. Wow. Uh, 
love it? I love it. I really do. He screwed the pooch. He did not follow the challenge. He took a comic book style tattoo. He did a beautiful new school tattoo. Okay, Jimmy, did you come here just to get more new school business or did you come here to compete? Jimmy. There's a guy who draws poison ivy. I think it missed the mark. She should be a seductress. She's not drawing me in. I don't draw it every day, so that's your area. Well, that's why I'm here, I assume. You missed in capturing the essence of this character. Bottom line is I'm 100% happy with what I turned out. This is a game. This is not a comic book tattoo. Today, DC Comic Day. I executed the tattoo, I did what I did, and I stand behind it. So we're here today to decide which artist gave the worst tattoo. My artist was Jimmy, and this is Poison Ivy. Honestly, I feel like I can pee more colors than that tattoo has. It looks like a green blob. Her boobs are weird. Like, if you look at her left shoulder, it's way back here, yeah. yet her left boob is like out here. It looks like the Jolly Green Giant's daughter. He decided to deviate from the challenge, which was a comic book challenge. Has anybody seen a comic book that looks anything like this? No. That's a good he point. He did try to make it into his own character. Personally, I thought it was the worst. Wait till yours goes up, buddy. So the human canvas jury has come to a decision. Jackie, Jason, Jimmy, any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Jimmy, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I stand behind my tattoos. Not everyone's gonna like what I do, but I've been doing it for 20 years. But you can't stylize something to the point where it's unrecognizable. This is not poison ivy. It's a cutesy little cartoony green creature. You've missed the essence. Can't make everyone happy. Remember, artists, after the elimination tattoo, the human canvas jury will vote on the tattoo that they think is the worst and put one of you up for elimination. You have the rest of the evening to consult with your human canvases. Tomorrow, you will have six hours to complete your portrait tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. There are a lot of moles back here. I know. My question is, if it's not the back, what do you suggest? Do you got things on your legs at all? No. I would probably suggest legs, I guess. My canvas wants a tattoo on her back, but it is moly back there. I need a tattoo her somewhere else. Who won the flash challenge, Jimmy? Yes. I guess he screwed you, huh? If she's going to stick to her guns, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll end up with the portrait of her mother on my leg. We decide we're going to tattoo her on her calf. She's not a big girl, and it's a lot of detail in this small spot. Every wrinkle, every strand of hair, every eyelash is going into this tattoo. I can't believe the work that goes into this. I have to at least try to take this home for my family. I can't keep being the bottom of the barrel. You make sure you tell him if he's doing something wrong. Kyle's looks like a ball of raisins kind of like smashed together. Is that horrible for me to say? He should be trying to soften her face and just show the main shapes of her face rather than every single wrinkle. Oh, Kyle, I love it. Oh, man. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Oh, it's perfect. Kyle. You accurately captured a lot of parts about this lady. If you look at the shading on their nose, it actually has dimension. You actually put the contour in there. But then you went in here and put too much time in every wrinkle. I definitely wasn't the only one to say Leatherface when I looked at this tattoo. I had to show accuracy. I think your accuracy is one of the stronger points on it. You nailed it, dude. It's a lot more accurate not to pinpoint Jason than his glasses. You had a tough one, but I think you did a great job on it personally. We're here to decide who has the worst tattoo. My tattoo artist was Kyle, and it was a portrait of my mom. Her face is more wrinkly. He aged her way yes. too much. I, yeah, I think he captured me, all my lines. And to me, it kind of looks like Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know what to say. He should have gave that piece more life. But you got to understand, he had the most detailed Definitely. one. Definitely. Just too much going on to actually see her. But you don't see that it's her? You're not seeing it's her? I think it's the worst one. I'm sorry. Yeah, I would agree. I do, too. So we've reached a decision. <sighs> Jimmy, Jason, Kyle, the three of you were slightly off. And any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Kyle, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I didn't really expect that. That's the people you're trying to please first, so 
That sucks. This tattoo is way too little for all that texture. You don't have enough room to let the tattoo breathe, and that's what made it look so dark. Remember, artists, after the elimination tattoo, the human canvas jury will vote on the tattoo that they think is the worst and put one artist up for elimination. You will have six hours to create a cover-up. Based on your work, two of you will be closing shop. Good luck. Like a barbed wire and ribbon coming down, flowers. Somewhere I'd like to put a cross, but then I want my boy's names and my grandson's name. Okay. All the things she want in this tattoo is killing me. Pretty much the same thing, what I drew on you. Is there any way that you can move him over and take the Gavin here off mm -hmm. and then do like side ribbons? I really don't like this. The last thing I need right now is a headache. This is his son. I wonder kind of where I could put their kids under him. There's no way to try and peg that in. Stop hindering me with your ideas. I've been doing this for a while, and I have to do this to where it actually works. I got a bad canvas, man. King Ruck. I mean, how would you? There's a bunch of different ways you could approach that. A nice black and blue rose could have been the cover-up. The horseshoes could have been behind it and banners under it. I've had some bomb canvases. There's 60 plus years of tattooing sitting at this table. You cannot tell me about a canvas. We're here to determine the worst tattoo of the day. That is my tattoo. My artist was King Ruck. I know that tattoo because I had it before too. You still see the lines. Look in the horseshoes. Yeah, the lines like are that. still there. You yeah, can you can see still it. see the lines. I'm not pleased at all. The horseshoes to me look like cartoon magnets. The rose is pointed way down. Not to really piss you off, but I'm going to. That tattoo sucks. He didn't even listen to what, anything I said. Yeah, that sucks. Guys, do we have a decision? Definitely. Yes. Without a doubt. Today, we tested your adaptability with a cover-up tattoo. King Ruck, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I know what I did. Of course, it's not my best tattoo, but I know that I'm a good tattoo artist. The judges have decided. King Ruck, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You have six hours to complete your glute tattoo. Remember, if your technical application isn't flawless, you'll be packing your machines. And your time starts now. Oh. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of going for a pinup alien almost. Are you down for like new school style? Mm-hmm. I love yeah, school, actually. That's, that's me, though. Really? Yeah, cuz. Oh, my God. That's what I was hoping for. Holy I'm so happy I finally get to do a bomb-ass new school tattoo like I'm used to doing at home. I love it. Hell, yeah. Robbie's alien is very mangled, very chewed up. The skin has gone through a lot of trauma. Uh, I'm sure this client is not going to be up for very much more wear and tear. Robbie and Mark. Well, Robbie, the main thing here is your technical application. You caused a lot of damage to this lady's skin. There is so many areas that are just abrasively overworked. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo. Robbie did the alien, and Mark did the girl. Looks like two different scenarios. It doesn't look like one piece. Exactly. I think Robbie could have spread out the picture a little bit more. It looks like everything's just smushed. It looks like you skinned your butt cheek. It was very rough. It hurts. But he was a great artist to be with. Like, he was very friendly. Friendly ain't going to win you to competition. Have we reached our decision? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Robbie, this is a huge mistake, a huge hiccup, and I'm begging for forgiveness at this moment. I mean, I showed you way better technical application in the tattoo I did after this because I made mistakes in this one, and I didn't go back to those. This is a major misfire. Major. This isn't what I do. This isn't who I am. I just want one more chance to make this right. Calm down, brother. Breathe. Just have a moment. Robbie, don't beg, just fight. The judges have decided. Robbie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You will have six hours to tattoo your canvas's spine. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. My canvas wants a double helix DNA strand in full color. How big are you looking to do it? Down the spine. 
down the whole spine? Yeah. There's no way I'm gonna finish that within six hours. If I do a full spine, by the time I get to here, I'm gonna have to rush. Always fun when you have sunburn from the skin gets my needle. I gotta deal with it all the time, I'm on the beach. My canvas wants a Polynesian hawk going shoulder blade to shoulder blade. All the surfer bros want that stuff, and I do a lot of it. I'm stoked. I've been tattooing for 20 years. I'm anything but slow. Nobody can take out the funky long neck. I'm back. Mark. How'd you feel about being teamed up against Aaron? Well, I know he's really a good tattoo artist, so I know it's gonna be a good challenge. He did show finesse by taking the old image of the sun and incorporating the light rays to the bird. It wasn't senseless background. It actually had meaning behind it. Chris. All these little bars that go across are not parallel, and there's a lot of inconsistencies. The bottom spiral is just out of whack. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That one's my tattoo. My artist was Mark. Your eyes get drawn right to the flaws of the wings. The wings are going through the clouds, and it doesn't even match up on either side. Yeah, it's right. not cohesive throughout the wall. Yeah, yeah, it's so not. The symmetry is really bothering me in this one. I, I just wish he did a straight tribal with clouds behind the hawk. This is Chris's tattoo. The molecules look like tapeworms. I think it looks warped, like some of the pieces are stretched out. I don't like the design. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Giving Chris 100 grand after this, there's no way. Do we all agree? Yes. 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 Today, you faced off tattooing your canvas's spines. Chris, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I didn't think the canvas story would have picked me. You continually still make choices that set yourself up for failure. It was just a poor design choice, and I take full responsibility for that. I can compete with the top guys here. You definitely need a win, man. Mark. Had you have at least put that little inference of the right wing coming off the body, it wouldn't have looked so out of line. I just really wanted to have that wow factor and just always want to do the best tattoo. I think it's a really cool design. It's one step away, and I know it's easy to say sitting from this side. I just went balls to the wall and just tried to do this big, awesome tattoo. That's what I always do. It's just not a safe play here at this competition. OK, artists, you have six hours to show detail with Egyptian tattoos. And your time begins now. What? Eric gave me the design, and he put me up against Chris, who's been doing this for a long time. I don't even know what the to do here. I hate not having enough time to, like, get something drawn that I like. Don't cry. Don't freak out. I don't get it. Eric should be trying to hook me up, since he's my mentor, but he just threw me under the bus. You get chance to talk to Marissa. She's lost her mind, huh? There's no crying in tattooing. Get your head straight. If you're not going to be able to battle against me, then go home. Marissa, MV, and Chris went head-to-head -head tattooing the Sphinx. Marissa, let's start with you. Where I'm having trouble is the shading in the face. It's like it's got a mouthful of marbles. The little detail at the top of the headdress, what is that? Well, it was supposed to be a snake. It was really tiny. Those kinds of inconsistencies are throwing my eye in terms of having this thing look like a three-dimensional statue. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo. My tattoo artist is Marissa. Why does he have Elvis Presley lips? Like, his <laughs> lips is like, oh, God, like, thank you very much. Her proportions are obviously off completely. It definitely shows that she didn't care. Today, you had to take ancient images and translate them to skin. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Aww. Marissa, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Sucks. Why did the jury vote Marissa to the bottom? It's the lack of the detail and everything kind of not proportionate. Did you vote for this tattoo as the worst of the day? Yes, I did. I showed it to you, and, and you I, said you liked I, it. At the beginning, when I looked in the mirror, I was in love with it. Eventually, I could see some of the minor details that just weren't quite there. Damn. We appreciate you coming down here, Dan. Thanks, guys. I appreciate buddy, thank it. Thank you. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a koi fish as good as Mike Rubendahl's. And your time begins now. Uh, here we go. You definitely don't want water. At all, period? Yeah, no. I want it to blossom out of flowers, not water. 
My canvas is not only picky, but lacks common sense. Why you don't like the water? Just looks cheesy. That looks cheesy. Yeah, it's not moving in my body. Koi fish are in water. You don't see koi fish tattoos without water. So no way I can talk you to in some water. Just yeah, no. We can't get no understanding. I feel like I'm talking to a toddler. What, but what if I draw it on here and just let you take a look and then see if you might like it? You can if you want to, but I don't want water. I don't know how to handle this I'm shit. so freaking out. Why? Because it's a tattoo and it's going to hurt. It's a needle. Damn, she wants this on her ribs. Can she take it? How are you going to do the water wave? No, you say you want it coming from the outside going into the fish? Well, somewhat. Everything that she prefers is against what I'm trying to do. That fish is bigger than what we... No, it's it. This is the original side. I'm going to shrink it. Can he have one whisker? Right now, mentally, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at it. Like where it's at? It looks weird. He just looks lonely there. I'm exhausted. She's having me change this and change that. That's good. It's right on the blade, though. You got, got your other shoulder blade tattooed already. At home, I own my own shop. If I don't want to do it, I send them on their way. You relax. Put your shoulders down. I got my back against the wall, and I'm having a compromise. Now I feel like I just have a hole in the back. Hole? All right, take a look at that. Yeah, perfect. Let's get it popping, girl. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Bam. It'll make me feel better. We ain't got a whole lot of time, so I gotta get on it. Oh my god. My poor back. I'm not happy with it. It looks like pee. Like the fish is pee. What kind of is that? This bitch is crazy. Like, I can't figure out how to please her. You're telling me that that doesn't look like a puddle right now? It's a water splash. Looks like my niece drew it. Well, don't, don't insult me, man. I have to live with this, and you're not paying for my removal. I'm going to fix it. Now that made it this far, and I've been having all these nutty-ass canvases all this time, she's by far the worst. Now, take a look at that. This is BS right now. Like, I hit. He's too orange, though. And that's the blood leaking through the yellow. You and I are not even on the same page right now. Ain't nobody ever been unpleased with somebody did ever my whole life till now. This is plain ignorance. That looks like a pumpkin and a tit. But it, I told you, your skin irritated, so... I'm trying to be nice, and I'm just going to flip your table over. This is on my back. I'm trying to, like, talk to you so we can work together. Your job is to work with me here. It's going to make me flip out, you know what I mean? You're gonna have him continue or you're gonna have him stop? I want him to continue. This is embarrassing. I don't want to go home for this. I cannot let this defeat me. What about the other flower? What happened? I have enough time to finish it. And Keto, your canvas didn't even get you on this one. You got yourself on this one. Keto. I know you had a struggle, but man, every centimeter of this tattoo shows that struggle. This line of work is this poor. She was kicking her feet. Every stroke on that tattoo, she was moving. The drawing is one of the worst layouts of the day. The shape of the water, totally strange. That top lotus flower looks like an artichoke. There's no redeeming qualities to this tattoo whatsoever. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo, and the artist was Keto. It looks awful, unfortunately. Nothing melds together. It's all kind of like a collage. It looks like a five-year-old drew The blue water looks like another leaf. He told me it was a good idea to add some waves so it could look more realistic. Those waves don't look realistic. Yeah. That was the biggest mistake, was to listen to his idea. He told me, trust him. He has 10 years experience. Back up your work, because definitely it's not there. <sighs> Just looks so bad. Today, you had to show crisp, perfect lines tattooing a Japanese koi fish. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Keto, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I think anybody else would have had to deal with what I dealt with would have probably been down here, too. Excuse me, you messed up my back, and you can't take full responsibility for that ugly tattoo. Well, I ended up giving in and pretty much letting her coach the whole drawing. That's not my work. 
That was all you. And it looks horrible. What specifically don't you like? I don't like the lining, the colors, the flower placement. I don't like the water placement at all. You're dealing with an awful work that you just did on my back. That unfortunately, I have to live with for like ever. Okay, now I don't like think I said, you're getting that. I'm just too intelligent, man, for any rebuttal right now. Just leave it at that. Mary Jean, I hope that you find a solution to this. Thank you. Thank you. I was just trying to finish at some point. I was trying to turn something in. I don't think that any one of us find any redeeming qualities in this tattoo. Keto, you let your canvas beat you. If we eliminate the canvas, the fundamentals beat you. So I would have to vote for Keto. The judges have decided. Keto, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Hold it down, man. Yeah, man. That's bull to the highest level of bull I'm getting sent home because this canvas with the IQ of a toddler couldn't agree to a design, picked apart my design, couldn't take the tattoo. I'm pissed the off. Artists, you have six hours to create a trash polka tattoo. And your time begins now. All right. Let's do this. Uh, my canvas wants a bunch of random New York by far the worst spot. I got the shakes. Brace yourself. <laughs> ah. You're getting an easy spot tattooed? Shut the f up and let me do what I do. Dave. I don't really feel like you went out on a limb trying to compose anything really amazing here. I think you're a much better technician than an actual table artist. Today is a composition challenge, so that is not going to win it for you. Tyler. Looking at the tattoo, it is very busy, but at the same time, when I look at composition, if it's interesting, I can overlook mistakes. But the Empire State Building's line, pretty strange. That outline gets a little crazy. I had to hold that kid down. We always compliment you on your application, and this one, some of the line work just gets away. I wasn't trying to go for clean. I wanted to go for, like, that messy punk rock. In here, always go for clean. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo, and my artist was Tyler. The image was just photoshopped and traced onto my leg. It really wasn't original. I think it's too busy. I think from a distance, I wouldn't know what that was. That Statue of Liberty looks like crap. All he did was Google Statue of Liberty, Googled Empire State Building, copy, paste. That's my tattoo. My artist was Dave. To me, it just feels simple. I feel like with Trash Polka, you can't go basic. I think that this should be voted the worst because he had free reign to do whatever he wanted, and he took the easy way out. Yours is way better than mine. Dave's tattoo is readable, at least. Today, your composition was put to the test with Trash Polka tattoos. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Tyler, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I'm 100% surprised. Everybody uh, pretty much agreed that everything was just very clustered. It's just very unreadable from a distance. What do you think about it? I'm unsatisfied with it. The Empire State Building, it just looks so corny and just stenciled. It's a trash polka tattoo. Tyler, I mean, this is not personal. I'm just saying the tattoo that I came away with, I'm unsatisfied. I did the challenge. I like the tattoo. Thank you very much, Thank Kenny. You Appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Tyler, the design itself has a lot of the style that you were asked to do, but pleasing your clients, that is the mindset you have to have to win this thing and not put yourself up for being at the bottom. All right, guys, you have six hours to show finesse with Victorian throat tattoos, and your time begins now. Do this. Whoa. Mm. I know. <laughs> I'm tattooing a piece of Victorian lace to mimic a dress that her grandmother wore in a wedding photo. I know I can nail this. You're doing awesome. Matt. Overall, the tattoo is dark. From 20 feet away, it looks like a black handkerchief around her neck. 
I do know it will lighten up through time. But your outlines aren't going to straighten out over time. The outlines that are in the swirl patterns, there's a lot of hiccups in those lines. You definitely have considerable blowouts happening near the collarbone of the neck. That's where your lack of finesse is. Why would you do that straight line across the top? At least give her some little scallops off the top and you break it up. It doesn't look soft. It just looks like you slit her throat. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo, and my artist was Matt. I'm upset that it's so dark. It doesn't help that the line at the top is so solid. It's just like To me, lace would be either sheer or see-through. You can fix it. Laser. That is my tattoo, and my artist was Cruzman. What is the white hole? We had discussed to have a door. He didn't seem like he wanted to do it. He just figured that he would just make a hole. He played it safe. He did. That, he that's really what did. he was doing. I just think he coughed out. I'd be upset with your tattoo if it was on right. my throat, but I could probably deal with it with yours. I would actually, I might be pissed off. Today, you had to use finesse to create a Victorian tattoo on your canvas's throat. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Matt, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Heather, why did the jury vote Matt to the bottom? I actually also voted for Matt because I thought it would be a lot lighter. I know that the gray wash will considerably lighten up. Only the areas where I put the deeper blacks will actually stay dark for you. That's not going to lighten that much. I think Matt's playing this up a little bit, and I feel bad for you. It's going to be a dark triangle. I completely trusted you, so I was really thrown off when I saw how dark it was. It makes me feel terrible to stand here and know that you're not happy. Heather, thank you so much for coming down and joining us today. Thank you. Matt, I'll tell you outright, it looks like she's just got a black hole in her neck. It was my intention to make it look like she had a really nice piece of jewelry. The tattoo for me is very off-putting. It's so much hard work, man. It's a shame for it to have gotten away. All right, guys, Sarah Miller challenged you to tattoo a surrealistic female. You will have six hours to tattoo. Your time starts now. All right, let's do it. Come over here, let's do the stencil. It is, man. As soon as we get done with these buildings, I'm gonna move to her. My canvas wants a surrealistic setting of Philadelphia being blown apart by a nuclear bomb along with a girl's face. I'll be using my girlfriend, his reference. She's hot, it'll work. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, having a good day. This mother might be going home. Last week, knocked out St. Mark. It would be gigantic if we could take out another veteran. I'm expecting something good here. All right, mister. What are you thinking, dude? Um, man, I think Alex should have done a different face. He said the face he's doing is his girlfriend. Yeah, this off. Alex. So I understand that you used your girlfriend's image as reference. The photo that you use, she's at an angle that's tilted like this. Right. I don't feel that you interpreted that angle well, and you created a face that has more of a traditional alien shape. I think when people look at it, they'll get the idea. You didn't get that depth. You didn't get that perspective. I saw the photo. Looks like a beautiful girl on the photo. Looks like a freak of nature on the tattoo. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. My tattoo, my artist was Alex Rocca. Her one cheekbone is definitely a lot higher than the other one. It's not a very pretty face. <laughs> that sucks. It's almost like a scary woman's face. Yeah. yeah. I wanted a beautiful woman's face. It's very wicked witch. I gotta live with this forever, and that nose is Yeah. Now it's time to find out who the human canvas jury voted for. That. Alex, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Nick, why did the jury vote for Alex? The shape, the cheekbones are too pronounced, the eyes are off level, the nose is butchered. That, that tattoo I put on is dope. Really? Everyone in the room voted for it. It was unanimous that this was the bottom. To come on Ink Masters, I expect perfection and greatness, and this is by far not greatness. I apologize on behalf of everybody here. It's not my first bad tattoo. Hey, dude. Thank you. It's a kick in the nuts. I like my tattoo. It's unfortunate that Nick doesn't. I thought my tattoo was fun and colorful. I mean, her tattoo was pretty much butchered. It looked dark as 
And then Clean's tattoo was messy. I really didn't think my tattoo would be even close to that. It's unanimous that the tattoo, the face itself, is unappealing. From clients, your peers, definitely from us. The judges have decided, Alex, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You've came into a season that is the best of the best. This looks like a finale, and you're here with them. So you made it far, man. Don't bum out. Head up. Always head up. Please pack your machines and close shop. Okay. All right, artists, James Vaughn challenged you to tattoo a Japanese dragon with water. You will have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. All right. Is the skin as bad as you thought it was? Oh, the, the skin's bad. Because I lost the weight, is that why? Totally, it's been stretched out. I got the worst canvas of the day because the skin is so fragile. If I'm not careful, it's gonna swell up to the point where I can't tattoo it. Mm. All right. Burns so bad. It's not very fun. Oh my. Christian and Clean were clearly out to screw me. I'm a threat and they're trying to take me out. So I appreciate you fighting oh through with this. How you doing, buddy? Starting to get a little rough. What is it burn? Let me straight, man. Sausage is totally rattled. I almost feel guilty. Almost. I'm pretty sure sausage is going to eat my face tonight. Oh, is he angry? Oh, he's beyond angry. Sausage should be feeling like a little kid because he's going to get spanked today. Let's take this last stab at it, OK? Oh. My canvas is really feeling the pain. He's kind of jostling around in the chair. This is not making it easy for me to do these really smooth blends that I need to nail. God damn it. I got nothing left. I'm screwed. Sausage. The legibility of this tattoo is lost just in the way you shaded it. You put black right up to the edge of the dragon and then black right inside the dragon. The problem with skin that has weight loss, it's much harder when it's deflated. That being said, you do have some anatomy issues. The neck is so thick and then you really taper down to this thin body. It makes it seem like the head is way in the foreground and the rest of the dragon's way off in the background. Your big downfall is the drawing. We are here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo, our sausage. It's too black. I really can't see the scales or nothing. Yeah, it's too much shading. It's hard to read. You should have put some color in it. But then that's the difference between a black and gray and a color tattoo. But that's a black and dull tattoo then, because it's really dull. Is this blowing in the bottom? Hell no. It's now time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Sausage, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Ron, why did the human canvas jury vote sausage to the bottom? They said it was too dark, and that was it. I'm sorry, Ron. This is not where I expected to see no, you don't, at you all. You gotta be sorry about nothing. I was a bad canvas. It hurt. He took some breaks, and we did the best we could. I don't see this being a bad tattoo at all. I don't care what anyone says. I appreciate everything you've done for me. OK, Ron, thanks for joining us, buddy. See you guys. When I see black tucked into whiskers like that, my immediate response is somebody was trying to cover up a mistake. The scales are done well. The, the face is done well. It's not like I'm going to go back upstairs and the bed. I'm going to come back out swinging for the fences again. If sausages tattoo walked into my shop, I would question whether that person knows how to tattoo. But I do feel that mine was more legible. I don't. My canvas is like tattooing a crying, squealing, mechanical bull. This is like 30 seconds work that we're turning into 10 minutes right now. If she does not just sit still and let me do my job, we might not finish at all. You will have six hours to complete your portrait tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. To do a portrait, your accuracy has to be 100% on point. One little difference in any part of a face, and your portrait looks completely off. There's no way around it. There are a lot of moles back here. I know. My question is, if it's not the back, what do you suggest? Do you got things on your legs at all? No. I would probably suggest legs, I guess. My canvas wants a tattoo on her back, but it is moly back there. I need a tattoo her somewhere else. Who won the flash challenge, Jimmy? Yes. I guess he screwed you, huh? If she's going to stick to her guns, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll end up with the portrait of her mother on my leg. 
Yeah, this is good, right, Ma? Yeah. See it? I yeah. We decide we're gonna tattoo her on her calf. She's not a big girl, and it's a lot of detail in this small spot. Every wrinkle, every strand of hair, every eyelash is going into this tattoo. I can't believe the work that goes into this. I have to at least try to take this home for my family. I can't keep being the bottom of the barrel. You make sure you tell him if he's doing something wrong. Kyle's looks like a ball of raisins kind of like smashed together. Is that horrible for me to say? He should be trying to soften her face and just show the main shapes of her face rather than every single wrinkle. 15 minutes. Oh, Kyle, I love it. Oh, man. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Oh, it's perfect. There's no better test of adaptability than a cover up. Knew it. Called it. Cover ups are tricky because trying to place the design over top of an existing design, you need to be able to manipulate that picture and put things in the right place so you cannot tell that's a cover up. Tattoos are forever, and only about 15% of the people who get them regret their decision. Yeah. However, the number one reason for regretting a tattoo is a failed relationship. Your canvases today made that mistake, and they're counting on you to help them fix it. Based on your work, two of you will be closing shop. Good luck. Adaptability is important in a cover-up tattoo because you take what's existing, create something around it, and you have to become a magician and make it disappear. My canvas wants an engine. It's called the intake. See how it comes out of either side of the head. Yep. When you go in for a cover-up, the best idea to have is no idea. I've been building motorcycles since I was three. We're having to cover up your mistake. So coming with this very specific idea that might not work is just a bad idea. Do I know a lot about engines? No, but I know about tattoos. I feel like this canvas is really gonna fuck me over. I have no clue what a V-twin engine looks like. I'm not too experienced in new school. She wants a new school V-twin? Yeah. She doesn't want this big circle part. It is just an air cleaner. Well, isn't this attached to that hole behind there? Or no? Because that's what she wants. No. I'm pretty stressed right now. They're gonna cut another two artists. I could really be in trouble. You need a carburetor on it. What is that? That's a carburetor. It brings fuel into your heads. Even if I help Melissa, she's gonna fumble this one. Melissa's definitely not a threat to me because my tattoos are better. Okay, so if I just leave it open like this, that I can do that? That might be better, yeah. My canvas is cranky. She can't sit worth is there any way to not rub it so hard? I'll try to just uh, do it very minimally, OK? She cannot take the pain. She's kind of a puss. I'm worried that my canvas is going to tap out, and I'm not even going to get to finish this stupid tattoo. I don't know how much more this I can take. OK, it's finished. Some of the most meaningful tattoos celebrate a personal victory. One of the greatest triumphs is surviving cancer. Your canvases today have all survived one of the deadliest forms, breast cancer. Many of them beat cancer by having a mastectomy to remove the breast. Some women choose to reconstruct their breasts, but the scars remain. And these scars are in a very sensitive area. So it's even more challenging to pull off a flawless tattoo, but that's exactly what you must do for these canvases. As a cancer survivor, I know what it's like to stare death in the face. This tattoo represents life, and it represents the good things that come out of fighting. Today, we have to do the most important tattoo that we've ever had to do. It's one of the only tattoos you can give somebody that actually helps change their life. You'll have six hours to tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Good luck. These canvases are looking for great work out of these final four artists, and that's what we're hoping for as well. This is a way to not only commemorate what they've been through, but to beautify it. These guys need to really step up and give them everything they can. I wanted to get the cross on the one side because my mom died from breast cancer, and then flowers on the other side. So this is the one side that I've got mapped out for you. I know that I only have time enough to do one side. Now's not the time to bite off more than you can chew. Since we only have six hours and this is kind of a large tattoo, maybe just concentrate on one side. I just want to make sure that this one comes out the way it's supposed to. It looks like it's going to be beautiful. There's no room for error whatsoever in the tattoo today. Where the Whatever you need it. to do Ooh. to make it look good. To fall short at fourth place would just be a devastating loss for me. 
to the scars and no nipple. You just don't feel feminine. So I, I think the tattoo is gonna bring back that feminine feeling for me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up, machine's down. No more ink. Pretty? Yeah. You okay? Over the last several months, the three finalists and their master canvases endured 35 hours of tattooing to create the back pieces you're about to see tonight. Let's see how that went. This is the battle I've been waiting for my whole life. That title is mine. We're gonna do the heart really anatomic, like it's bloody and shiny and red. This tattoo screams Scott Marshall. It's gonna be the boldest tattoo that the judges have ever seen. You ready? Yep. I tend to think that Maddie's more of a bigger threat to me than Scott is. He really has nothing to lose. She's like the underdog. But Scott might be having some problems too because he's really heavy handed. <laughs> You gotta earn it too, you know what I mean? This is what she signed up for. This is what it's gonna take to win this competition. Oh, dude, I'm <laughs> the finish line's like right there, you can see it. She has to be down for all 35 hours. I love tattoos until I got this one. All right, we're done. Good God, it looks awesome. <laughs> no one is going to take that title away from me. I you know? love the amount of color you put into it. Lee and Jason think they can take me out. They got another thing coming. I'm not leaving without the $100,000. Whoa. Clean doing the same style as me doesn't phase me at all. I want to take clean out throughout the whole competition, and this is how I'm going to do it with this final back piece. I've come too far to let her tap out right now. I feel super weird, like hot and cold at the same time. You want some water or something to drink? I have to get my canvas to sit through the rest of this tattoo. Eric, this is awesome. <laughs> There's no way the judge is gonna look at this tattoo and not give me the win. And this week, we're testing texture. Okay. Texture is an effect that makes the tattoo come to life. Bumpy, smooth, hairy. Without the texture, it just looks plain and cartoony. For this elimination tattoo, you must transform your canvas into an animal. What? what? Oh my gosh. How the f does that even mean? All of the canvases want their skin made into animal skin. How does that work? Is that a joke? I don't think it is a joke. You want to turn yourself into an animal? How do you even do that? Holy Today, you must tattoo in teams of four. What? What? Four? What do you mean, teams of four? All four of you must tattoo the same canvas what the? at the same time. Holy tug of war. Oh my God. To get tattooed by one person for six hours already sucks. To get tattooed by four people in four different places, we're gonna murder them today. It's insane. Every artist on your team must create consistent texture, or the tattoos won't match and the illusion will be destroyed. We're magicians, we're not tattooers. People ask you, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done? Well, on Ink Master, four of us tattooed one person at the same time and turned him into an animal. That's weird. The teams are set. It's up to you as a team to decide which artist tattoos which body part. But once the tattoo begins, you can't switch the area you're tattooing. Damn. And this week, there will be no human canvas jury. You'll have six hours to transform your canvas into an animal. Good luck. How are you? I'm bad. Nice to meet you. Today, the most difficult part about this challenge is consistency. Our goal is that you leave here with something that looks awesome. It's important that all of these outlines and stencils match up and play well together so that this canvas transforms into one particular pattern throughout. The challenge is to transform her. If these two touched, two pieces together and two pieces together would be better than not. I'm excited about Chris being on the team because he's a Marine and I'm a soldier. We'll work together and let's get a stencil that works for everybody yeah, yeah. so that we can all do the same designs. I don't have my master here with me, so why not let a strong person take the lead? We'll coordinate how we're going to do it. We'll put out the same bottles of ink for everybody. Exactly. I'll show you guys how to do the background tones. We'll start with the brown spots, and then I'll work our way through. I feel good about that. Everybody yeah. feel good about that? Yeah. yeah. 
For me in this competition, it's go big or go home. I'm swinging for the fences and hitting a home run every time. So our idea is to cover as much canvas skin as possible so that it looks like her body's transforming into the cheetah. See the way I'm keeping that same line up? I'm just trying to be as randomly natural as possible. The idea is just to kind of follow my lead, watch how I do each part of the texture, and they're just going to duplicate what I do. Look them at the top end more than the bottom end? Yeah, exactly. I can see it right now. Perfect. I think we're all doing about the exact same pattern. That's great. Dave? Yeah, oh, sorry. When you do that same movie. It's nerve-wracking working with three other people at once. I mean, it's a tight little space. Your elbow is actually going to be where my elbow is. Start voting you worst team player, Dave. Sorry if I keep tensing up a little bit. We're barely even started, and she is starting to complain. Help. Holy <laughs> Hang in there. Give me like five minutes, and I'm going to move to a different spot. Relax. No, I can do that spot. You have to. You have to. Mentally, you got to get there. She's starting to get fidgety. Relax, relax. You're very tense. You got to just relax. You will make it. It's not a good sign. Hello? I know it hurts. Listen, she's just trying to relax. Right? We are so doomed. We still got a lot of work to do. Look up. If she taps out, she could be the ticket home for anybody on this team. There's no rush to go anywhere. Look at me. Look up. You're OK, all right? For her safety, for the safety of everybody here, she can't contain you. We tapped her. We all saw that coming. We were so close. It's the last bit of detail that makes the texture. We are royally screwed. I'm really busy. I believe it. Jerama. I'm definitely feeling for Chris right now. He's my teammate. He's who I want to go to the end of this competition with. At this point, then I'm going down and discussing our case. Watch the snakehead be the only one that can sit for the tattoo. Oh, my god. Team Cheetah didn't finish her tattoo. Chris walked them into a battle that does not seem like there was any possible way for them to complete this tattoo. Good job getting her through four hours. Chris needs to take some sensitivity training for putting that girl through all that torture. Clean and Aaron, as a veteran artist, it's on your shop to prove that you deserve to be here by overcoming your weaknesses. And in their honor, you will all be judged on precision. And I'll bet you can see where this is going. Mm -hmm. Just say it. There's no better test of precision than a portrait. Yep. I don't specialize in portraits, but I've done quite a few since season seven. The pressure's on you, because if you send us home, I'm going to be pissed. First day in the job, baby. First day in the job. A facial feature, even a millimeter off, could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. For this elimination tattoo, you and your teammate must tattoo matching portraits on different canvases. Of course. That's crazy. Two days before we came here, Doom let me in on a little secret, which was that he has never done a portrait before. This might be the day we go home. Every portrait's difficult in its own way. Everybody's skin's different. Being that you have to do the same portrait on two different people, that's super hard. The key with this, I think, is communication. Get a game plan in your mind. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? You guys got your work cut out for you. You will have six hours to tattoo a precise portrait. Based on your work, one shop will be out. Good luck. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Yeah. Portraits are already a challenging job, but the kicker here is they both have to match. Let me see. It looks a little big. Yeah, on her, right? There's definitely gaps in some of these teams. Pretty much going to be close to this actual size. Maybe okay. up here. We'll, yeah, we'll see once see. we draw it out. For people that are not as strong as their teammate, that's a storm. It's my favorite day. I know you sit on the line that you want to color. Yes. If we can't talk them down to at least a black and gray picture of her face, we're going home for sure. To get all the details and everything More and that face. Yeah, have it really look like you if we focus on your face so it's bigger. All these details are going to be much more open and it's going to last better over time. I'm flexible with the he is as well. Awesome. Those are the words I love to hear. <laughs> I'm kindness heart, her portrait. It's phenomenal. It's the one. But if he doesn't step it up to her level, yeah, they can lose. What's up, Dan? God, you guys are flying. Holy crap. It is overly apparent that Doom has never done a portrait in his life. You know you're going to do it in this competition. Instead, you come in here and scratch something out on that dude's arm. That's ridiculous. Oh, I just want to 
just really need you to relax your shoulders. The more tense you are, the worse it's going to be for both of us. So. My canvas is like tattooing a crying, squealing, mechanical bull. Oh. This is like 30 seconds work. Oh. Then we're turning into 10 minutes right now. If she does not just sit still and let me do my job, we might not finish at all. I can hear Aaron's canvas moaning from across the shop. Dane's tattoo turns red every time he touches the lady. I'm over here like a fish out of water. I don't know how Black Cobra figured out how to get us all at one time, but they definitely have. The Alliance is in trouble. You must have a solid strategy and trust in your team because today you must tag team tattoo. Oh my. As a team, you will create one tattoo for one human canvas. Two artists from your team must tattoo the same canvas at the same time. What the shit? Whoa. Oh. Switching artists every hour. Because we all got to get on it. Yeah. Tag team tattoos can be challenging. You've got people wiping at different times. You've got people pulling lines at different times. You're in each other's space. But now at least Hiram can stop tattooing after an hour. Oh, it's harder than you think. You can tattoo any style or subject. Yes. But once again, the tattoo must prove your creativity. Gotta kill it. We can do that. Two people tattooing a canvas at the same time, especially that don't know each other's rhythms, can be bad. It's pretty big, guys. Nah, it's not that big. You become very alert and hesitant to pull because you think somebody's going to mess with your canvas, and you're in your head. So it becomes a quick shit show. You going to let Patrick pull all his clean lines? You know, what I'm going to do is let my team win this challenge. Oh. Doing good? Yeah, it's just like my natural reaction. Yeah. My leg's like shaking, so try it and, sucks. Trying to take some deep breaths, all right? I can feel you twitching just a little bit, so. That's really a good idea, guys. Like, look at you. Thinking outside the box. Using another person, just like gripping your thigh and pulling it apart as far as it'll go, it's painful. Watch her face. They make some flies. Next time that he does. Oh my god. It's like a bad dream. You'll be waking up soon. This canvas can't make it through the tattoo, man. We turning in an unfinished tattoo. And that's definitely not what we want to do. So we gotta put Jordy on therapist duty. Take deep breaths. Oh. oh. You're at 98%. 98%. it up, Jordy. I don't give a damn what you talk about. Just keep on talking. You're doing great. You're doing great. How's our canvas doing? Horrible. Yeah. I can tell within 10 minutes in the tattoo. Mm. You're gripping somebody like that that hard to hold them down while you tattoo them is not a strategy. Today, you must tattoo. Here it is, guys. A portrait. It's about time. Yeah. Finally, this is my time to shine. Of a senior citizen. What? Ooh. Leatherface. That's so much little detail. Senior citizen portraits are difficult because you want to capture the likeness of that person, but you don't want to overdo their wrinkles because you'll make their entire face look leathery and scary. You know, it's coming eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Portrait day. Doing portraits of senior citizens is tough. There is obviously age on skin. Skin does different things when age occurs. It's a really red photo, so. Black and gray be better? I think it might be. If you do everything HD, there's no way this portrait's gonna look good. You have to know how to soften some things, capture what it is that makes that person that person. What I'll probably do is to treat things like in her expression. That's fine. Being over precise in a portrait when it comes to wrinkles and folds for most artists is the kiss of death. I just gotta make sure when I blow this thing up that I don't lose a lot of detail because this is a tiny, tiny photo. I'm beyond frustrated right now because I thought Jarrell would definitely have my back. Such a shitty photo. Tiny. I can't even make out that that's even hair. I can't tell where the eyes are. The hair is pretty much the same tone as most of the skin. Just pay attention to the shapes. I know I've done portraits, man, but you know that it's all about the reference. This is easily the hardest reference to work with in the room. I think you me. I, uh, I don't understand what he did with these pics. It's obvious what he did with these pics. He tried to help out the West. It looks just like him.
Yeah? You can see him? That's good. The only real critique that I need. See, look what you did. <laughs> I'm focusing on giving my canvas a tattoo that will honor that love that she has for her grandfather. I can make today more about that relationship than about whether or not Jarrell stabbed us all in the back. Mm -hmm. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Mm -hmm. You're doing super well, don't quit now. Oh, I'm not quitting, don't <laughs> you worry. I'm not gonna quit, I am not a quitter. Good. <sighs> Everyone's been saying I'm a one-trick pony and I wanted to prove everybody wrong. Oh my God. I feel like Jarrell's taken that away from me by giving me the hardest one in the room. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a minute, okay? Okay. This chick will not sit still. She won't? When I get done, I'll come over there and hang out. I'm up against so many odds that I don't know if I can make it past. <sighs> oh. Sorry. I'm just trying to do a good portrait, not just a finished portrait. I appreciate know? it. I'm going as easy as I possibly can on her, but I don't know if she's going to sit through this thing. We have 30 minutes, OK? Oh. Just please let me finish it. Word, dude. Jimmy's canvas is all over the place. The best thing I can do to make sure that he can finish his tattoo is just talk to her. There's still strength in numbers. You got a portrait of? Oh, my granddad. Your granddad? He's a World War II vet. Oh, yeah? You're earning this one. You're almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. We finished. <laughs> I feel like I just gave birth. I feel like I just gave birth. <laughs> when you know they judge that tattoo, they said it doesn't fit the challenge. God damn it, that was my day. Blackie raised the that I do. You took me on every goddamn ability to win. I owe you nothing. I can't get redemption tattooing you, you Lacey, welcome back. You brought your friend Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So your artist was Duffy. Yes. And you got the trash polka tattoo. I wanted a realistic crow. There is no realism in this tattoo. The wings are coming out of its head. It's a big blob of black. When she showed it to me, I was just confused as to what was the idea behind it, I guess. But then again, you go into any museum in the world, I guarantee you, you'll be confused by a piece or two hanging on the wall. Oh, yeah. Art is pretty sure. subjective. Honestly, it's a tree and a crow. Yeah. It's super simple. On top of that, she's going to say, oh, I didn't know if she was going to sit there or not. I sat there for three hours and didn't have one peep. I was laughing and joking until the third hour. Just kind of keep your breathing like leveled and you'll be fine. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm trying to block out every noise she's making. Oh my God. Just to focus on what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I told her, I don't care what comes out of my mouth, just do the tattoo. It's you sound angry. I am. Nobody calls me out for being a pussy. No. I have Duffy here in the shop. I want to give you the opportunity to talk to her about it. Obviously, Rick, you're here to support Lacey. I've been hearing about it and my ears are starting to hurt. All right, head on in. How dare you? For anyone to come out and call me a pussy, why in the hell did you think that was a good thing to do? Hey, pussy is here, ready to say it to my face? I love how you went around and talked on me after we'd done the tattoo and left. And you think it's okay to just call me pussy? Excuse me? You called me a pussy, baby. I called you a what? You called me a pussy. Did I say that word? First of all, that word never comes out of my mouth. After the tattoo is done, you had all the to say about, like oh, I didn't know whether she was going to tap out or not. That you I wiggled, had to tell that you, you wiggled, and you might have tapped out. She might have. You didn't Can even you stop cursing at me, please. Fine. I'm polite. When I'm you apologize for this, you no, no, and apologize. then you gave me a tattoo. A tattoo? Yeah. Excuse me. Where the is the realism in this? Did I not? Duffy, come here. First of all. You're coming in awfully hot. I don't think I owe anybody an apology. I think I was very respectful. I don't even want to tattoo you. I don't appreciate being talked to like that because I would never talk to you like that in a million years, even when you were bucking like a Bronco in my chair. No. Was I paid? Stop. But that sounds like the Duffy yeah. I know. No, 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 wait, wait. Well, wait a minute. Because what's the other half of the story? Saying someone was moving a lot is not talking 
She's upset about it. She didn't like the outcome. I would love to give you a nice, beautiful tattoo if you really want a nice, beautiful tattoo, but I'm not gonna be anybody's punching bag. Brian, welcome back. You brought your lovely wife, Sandy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So your artist was Tim Lees. I got the worst artist in the history of Ink Master to give me a deformed geisha. Oh, I remember this tattoo. It was terrible. It looks like a color wheel threw up on my chest. The colors were not what I asked for. The background, which was supposed to be blue, is aquamarine teal. He didn't fix the tiny hand that I pointed out specifically. The anatomy's off. And what did he say to that? Well, yeah, okay, and went off in a huff, never redrew it. Oh my God, that's Tim. Sandy, what do you think when he comes home and you look at this thing? I laughed, actually, when he took his shirt off and went, <laughs> what the hell is this big blue blob on his chest? It's never good when you take your shirt off and your wife laughs. The episode airs and Tim was eliminated. How did that feel? Nobody wants to be the worst tattoo of the no, day. And you're invested more than anybody. Absolutely. Well, listen, Tim is in the shop now. I want to invite you guys to go in there and have a chat and at least get this off your chest, so to speak. I don't think All there's right. any way to get that off his chest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, head on in. Knowing I have to wear this thing forever is a very tough pill to swallow. If you come on Ink Master, you should bring your A game. And I don't think he has an A game to bring. Well, well, look who it is. The worst artist in Ink Master history. I just want to know one thing. How do you go to sleep at night knowing that you put something like this on somebody? It looks like total crap, man. Then he had to come home and deal with me, and I looked at it and told him what crap it was. If you're going to trace something, at least... I didn't trace least, nothing, and you know yeah. it. Well, you, you know should have, because this is not a custom piece of art. It's a custom piece of crap. Look at it, man. Be I'll be the first great. one to apologize if I'm wrong. Go ahead. So you actually I'm like for that work? So you like what you did? Yes, I do. Really? The background and everything? I like all of it. Really? Yep, I like all of it. I the Technicolor dream coat. A Christmas lot of people actually compliment it. A lot of people really? do like it. So someone else got a bigger sandwich than I did, but the sandwich Tim. I had still stuck. Come on over here. Come on over here. All right, guys. We're back here for a simple reason. Tim is looking for some redemption. You're looking for some redemption. This is true, but at the moment, I don't feel like I need redemption. I'm proud of what I do, and I really care about what I do. Well, then, you know what? If you don't want to do this, you can split. You we, we, well, we can get down to it. If they're doing it the first time, I don't know if I want them to touch with a needle again. Jacob, welcome back. It's good to be back, Dave. So you were tattooed by St. Mark and by Cruzman, an Ink Master winner. I have the winner, I have the tattoo god, and they both did two terrible tattoos on me. Which one was first? The carousel horse. Okay, well, what's the problem? It doesn't look like stained glass to me, and if I don't tell nobody it's a carousel horse, they say, oh, dude, that's a cool dragon. Really? A dragon? Okay, so you're unhappy with that, and then you come back to Ink Master and then get the rock and roll dragon or whatever it Rock is. Rock and roll, see? Yeah, Look, know, see, it looks like a dragon, man. I wanted a Cyril office because I got it right before my wife's birthday. It's and that's fun. her favorite yes. dinosaur, yes. man. You so I wanted it. something for her. But that doesn't look like that. No. She looked at it and said, that looks like utter She was that offended by it? Yeah, dude, she hates Mark. She thinks he's an asshole. Really? Yep. Well, Jacob, both Cruzman and St. Mark are in the shop now. If you want to go have it out, now is your chance. Well, I'm going to love that. All right, buddy, head on in. It utterly sucks, man, that I put my body on the line not once, but twice. And look at me. It's bull You're kidding me. Oh, you too, mother Thanks for ruining a good chunk of my legs, guys. I appreciate it. Really? Save Fart, save really? Sally. You should be on your knees begging me. I tattoo. should be begging. I want to know what tattoo that begging. I did on you that's bad. The carousel dragon. You're you're full of then. Oh, I'm full of Yeah. Dude, you gave me You got sent home. I idea. I want to see my the, idea. I want to see the tattoos. You want to see Will it? you show them to us? Yeah. Unreadable. It's a beautiful It's tattoo. unreadable. You're going to come approach me in the manner that you didn't expect me to tattoo you, dude? You're yeah. crazy. Crazy? You are crazy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love it. Hey, guys. Come on, let's cool it out. How are you guys feeling? I apologize to you if you're not happy with that tattoo. If you're gonna come in here and approach me like some chump and think that I'm some little bitch that's gonna bow down and give you a free tattoo, dude, you're sadly mistaken, bro. I want redemption and I want you to be happy in the long run, but I'm not gonna be talked to either. That's fair, man. Yeah, it's fair. And I apologize. You know what? I came off looking like an asshole, all right? I love the tattoos at first, man, but just living with it, hearing what everybody else is saying, man, it kind of dropped my self-esteem down on it, and that's what killed me about it. Alexander, yes, welcome sir. back. Thank you. So your artist was Sarah Miller. 
Yes. What brings you here today? I'm here because I want to tell everybody that Sarah Miller was wrong from the beginning. What? I mean, she should have been given the tattoo of the day over that really? crappy Hillary Clinton tattoo, the one. The best tattoo of the day goes to Christian. As far as capturing a likeness, you really get the personality and the look of this person. I'm calling Christian out. He's the dirtiest player I've seen on Ink Master. I'd love to hear what he said to my face now. What did he say? He said that it was back. a raisin in the shape of Bill Clinton. He should have directed his comments to his own tattoo. But his tattoo won best tattoo of the day, and I will tell you that it was pretty good. I mean, I was the better Clinton out of the two. As a judge, I will tell you when you're wrong. If you look at Sarah Miller's hair, your hair is jacked. You can see where the hair is wisping what looks to be wind. You can see just but the I don't, I don't think details. he was in the wind. Was it, he in the wind? Probably it's Arkansas. It was, it was taken at the <laughs> state capitol. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's wind in the state capitol. Touche. I have Christian here in the shop. You want to call him out? Yeah, that's what I'm here for. You can head on in there and have a word. Christian needs to know Sarah Miller did a way better tattoo. He's bald, he's bullyish. His tattoo didn't even come close to my tattoo. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Oh. Hey, Christian, there's uh. that bald headed bitch you can't tattoo. Oh. Do you want to say it to my face now? Don't walk in like that. Sarah Miller should have won that day. You need to step the back, because I, I don't know who the I'm you are. I watch who the you're talking to. That's fighting words. Is that what I said? Let's fighting words. Out of here. Yeah, no, you get the out of here, dude. Honestly, when you did say there was a California raisin, yeah, it might have hurt his feelings a lot. And I already it's apologized. I think you should also apologize to Mr. Clinton, to the state of Arkansas, and oh, to the for actually saying that this thing's out of your mind. Guys, chill out. Where the did you find this guy? <laughs> Arkansas. Wow. Kate, welcome back. Thank you. You brought your husband, Craig. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And your artist was Mark Longnecker. Yeah, I'm not real thrilled to admit that. I feel absolutely betrayed. I had asked for a very feminine, cool-toned owl. Instead, I got a Technicolor decal. There's red veins in the purple eyebrows. Okay. If you look at the beak, it's colored in yellow and it has a red line in it. And yeah. his nose looks like Ronald McDonald. It doesn't look really very feminine at all. We had talked about before she left about what she had wanted. And obviously she doesn't have a problem communicating <laughs> what she feels. Not at all. So, <laughs> so I, I doubt that there was a, a communication problem from her end anyway. I knew what I wanted and I made him sit there and draw it. And I was absolutely in love with the line drawing. I didn't stop to think. I had to ask Homeboy to pull out the Crayola and color in the line drawing. Craig, what do you want to say to Mark? From my perspective, Mark sort of took advantage of my wife, so I'm not really excited about that piece. That's why he's here and today. And so I'd like to talk to Mark about what he did to my wife. Today's all about making you happy. Good. And giving you guys a voice. Mark is here today. Oh, he is. If you guys want to go in and talk to him, say whatever you want to say. Get it off your chest. He broke my trust. Almost like that old joke when, you know, someone passes out at a party and then they scribble on their face yeah. With, yeah. with Sharpies, except this is forever. It's like yeah. I left These my aren't shoes Sharpies. on at the party. Yeah, yeah. like right. party foul. I understand that. Head into the shop and uh, good luck. I really need an apology from Mark. I feel violated and taken advantage of and lied to. He literally made choices and decisions based on the design and did them without me. And I have to wear his mistake. You should have to apologize for that. Hey, asshole. Do you remember me? Do you remember what you put on my body? I have to live with your mistakes for my entire life. Do you see this? Do you remember this even? This drunk ass, weird owl thing you put on her? If Rainbow Bright and Ronald McDonald had a baby, it would be this piece of on my back. You're so zen right now, you need to namaste the away from me. I deserve an apology, not attitude. You don't have to wear this. How am I giving you attitude? Standing there all I'm just hanging out with you're sitting here smiling and laughing. It's a giant joke to him, just I like know. it was during I the know. show. I know. And who are you? I'm her husband. This is my husband. All right. So are you wearing the tattoo? No. You don't why need don't, to talk to him like that. Why do I that? listen to her then? Because the last time why you listened you? to me, it didn't go so well. So maybe this time you should listen to him. I'm listening. You're not acknowledging that I'm unhappy. I said I wanted purple. I said I wanted feminine. Do you see any femininity? Is the main color in that purple? You didn't listen to me. I'm you listening took liberties to you, right? with my body without my permission, Mark. What Maybe did I do the up? It's a great tattoo. Obviously, she has no problem communicating. And then you turn around and put this on her, and at the end, that's it's the not way, what you want. That's wanted. the way it works at Ink Master, you know. People come in with these crazy ideas, but we have to agree well, on so something. Now you're calling me crazy? We have to do now something. Now you're calling me crazy. Well, he said pretty, my ideas are crazy. Right now, you're being pretty crazy. You don't acknowledge you did something hey, wrong. Can't make everyone hey, happy. Hey, guys. You guys come over here. 
The idea is for me to not have to walk out here. Mark is here for redemption. You guys are here because we want to make you happy. How can we do that? Well, I'm not sure how you There's no solve fixing this. this. Like, you can't this, cover this. it. It is hard to fix a perfect tattoo. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I deserve an apology. Dude, walking in, first thing, saying, hey, asshole. No, you wouldn't get two steps in my shop with that attitude. Here's the last and I'm Audrey, you were a master canvas for Jason Clay Dunn for a 35-hour back piece. Yes. What was it that you specifically didn't like? I can't find myself in it. It kind of misrepresents my style. But you actually sat through a full session. <laughs> I did. I got the entire outline done, but once I lived with it for a few days, it wasn't anything that I could relate to. It took some of my sexiness away. At this point, I'm not really wanting to continue on with the tattoo. Yeah, I didn't have time to think about it. There's $100,000 on the line, girl. I, I mean, and you know, I you're killing me right now. So you've chosen to go with laser removal yes. to get the outline erased. I'm estimated to get like in between 20 and 25 sessions. Wow. And those are very, very painful, I understand. Very painful and very expensive. <laughs> oh! You're okay, I oh, know. Hang in there. Oh! Yeah, that was a dark piece. Wow, so yeah. you've got a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of pain yes. invested in this back. Yes. Well, I'm really sorry that this experience happened to you, and I have an artist standing by, and he is willing to tattoo you. Your style, he will draw up your idea, and you can decide, yeah, I want that, tattoo me today, or I don't care for it, and walk. Yeah, I'm down. Don't get the outline first and then walk. Okay. All right, head into the shop and meet your artist. I'm embarrassed because I made a bad decision. This time around, I wouldn't allow something on me that I didn't completely approve of. What are you doing here? Hey. Hey, what? <laughs> no, no, I got nothing for you. I got no love for you. You tell me what you're doing here? You're supposed to tattoo me? I'm not tattooing you. I have zero respect for you. I think that's quite rude. Well, I can tell you what's quite rude. Trying to screw me out of a $100,000 tattoo. I told you exactly what I needed to do to do the challenge, and that was new school. And you agreed to do this. Yes. And I sat down, I did this whole outline on you, and then you almost screwed me right in the finishing of the race. So you feel like people don't have a right to change their mind? You are a person of no class and character is what I feel. You're not acknowledging like how I feel or like that. How I'm do you feel about what? Person. I don't care. You can take a flying be leap great. out of here okay. because great. you have no class. I wish you all the luck. No, I don't wish you nothing. I'm very glad that you won your you know hundred thousand dollars. I treated you with respect and I and treated I'm, you with class. And I'm that is something that, that you do not this have. This is how you choose to no, no. react. No. no. You're being an attention whore and you make up lies. And you knew that you came on here to be a canvas that would take on any tattoo. Mary Jean, welcome. Lovely to see you. Good seeing you too, Dave. So your artist was keto. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm stuck with an ugly ass tattoo. I don't even want to show my body. Like, I don't even want to get naked. That's a shame. I was wearing shirts to have sex. And they're like, show me your boobs. I was like, no, I have an ugly tattoo. What is it about the tattoo that you don't like in particular? The fish is on finish. He looks Japanese. Well, do you mean the fish looks like it's an Asian fish? I guess French is whiskers. They're like, oh. Well, it's a Japanese koi fish. That was the style of the day. He don't f it up. OK, but let's be fair here. Do you think you played a part in making this a traumatic experience? No, I was the best girl ever. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Bam. I sat there, I took the pain, and then I'm stuck with this ugly ass tattoo too, like. <sighs> the only way I can make this up to you yeah. is to give you the opportunity to confront Keto if you like, maybe get a tattoo from him if you like, and if you don't like, you walk out of here, no harm, no foul. What do you say to that? OK, I'm down. Head on into the shop. I came back to get my apology. This guy irritated my skin. He made that fish look so up. His ass was sent home for a reason. I mean, what the you see here for, man? Shut the up. You ain't got nothing to say about this here. Up my back. Hey, man, I'm not even talking to her. Don't I'm going to be your champion. There's three of us here. Well, it's one of me. So it's like this. I'm going to stand right here, and y'all can do what y'all want to do. So yeah, it's three against one, you stupid asshole. And I'm right here standing. We can handle it any way y'all want to handle it. My back. Yo, I ain't got to deal with this. You do. Your are 
You that's couldn't even get problem. you couldn't get a tattoo that's on my shirt. Yeah, this bitch can sit here and keep on this talking bitch? like this. Don't, bitch. don't go there Straight with up. me. Yeah. Straight don't up. go there. Don't walk up on me like that. Well, I just did, right? No, I'm not gonna do nothing. Yo, y'all need to get her. Somebody better get this bitch away from me. Yo, don't this don't What the you think you're gonna push me because you're off on TV? Keto season six sucks. I'm gonna get out of here for something happening to your ass. Go walk off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, buddy. No, man. Come here, come here. Dave, no, I'm not you, coming. He sucks. You, you, you gotta slow down. You gotta slow down. He sucks. Relax. Too much too far. Sit back with these guys. Look, they voice how they feel and they're calm. You can be calm. No, I'm not dealing with this, man. Keto, bro, come back. No, she went too far. All right, I'm gonna have to make a call here. I feel like your relationship with Keto is just too volatile right now. Well, yeah, he needs to not call me a bitch, first of all. Thank you for coming, but I'm gonna need you to exit Thank the shop. Thank you. Bye, right, guys. Dear? Good luck. So pissed off right now. Keto does not deserve redemption. He should just, like, retire. Him. Dan, welcome back. Glad to be back. What happened with Kyle? We butted heads right off the start. I made a comment about how if he split his hundred grand with me, I'd let him tattoo whatever he wanted. But until then, I'm the one that had to have this thing on my skin forever. Sure. I wanted something that I wanted. And that's kind of where everything went downhill from that, that point. That way went downhill from that comment? Yeah. I don't find that to be an insulting comment. My memory of the tattoo is that it came out pretty good. Oh, it looked phenomenal when it was yeah. done. So why are you here today? He was busting my balls about the whole concept to begin with. We compromised and then when all was said and done, all that detail that he was so worried about getting into the tattoo completely washed out and turned gray. But it also sounds like you have some personal issues with Kyle. The attitude, the cockiness, the arrogance, and you know, like he just wouldn't work with me on it. Well, Dan, as you know, Kyle is here. He's in the shop right now. And what we'd like to offer you is an opportunity to go talk to Kyle, maybe square whatever issues you guys have. And if that goes good, look into getting this tattoo fixed up. It really depends on how this conversation goes. I'm curious to see how that goes so. too. Why don't you head in the shop? All right. I think when Kyle sees me, he's either gonna walk away, call me an asshole, or wanna punch me in the face. Who knows? He's already proven a hundred times that he's got a short fuse. Let's see if he's changed. Mr. Dunbar, you know why I'm here, right? I figure that you're just a cheap mother. This is exactly what I knew was gonna happen. So why the are you here? You like cameras that much? No, because I'm here to put you in your place. You wanna be a dick? I'm sorry, did you apologize for causing me a $100,000 loss? First you off, I didn't cause you a loss. I didn't cause you a loss. You sat here and told me that if I didn't share my $100,000 with you, what there was I no way I was you? gonna do a tattoo that once. When they what? judged that tattoo, they said it doesn't fit the challenge. God damn it, that was my day. Blackie raised the that I do. You took me on every goddamn ability to win. I owe you nothing. I can't get redemption tattooing you, you I compromised with you, and you still you gave me You compromised? You What'd expected $50,000 so that you could get a tattoo to you. First off, get the out of my face. I ain't going nowhere, right? this is my you shop. I ain't got to do I'm a goddamn artist. Do what the I want. Go ahead, go. Get out of here, you curtain jerker. Good luck with everything in that attitude of yours. Maybe someday you'll learn to swallow that pride. Suck my yeah. All right, my day's done. I've had many a sleepless night thinking of that day when I was trying to work with him. It's not time for me to try and compromise anymore. I don't know if my son will be proud of me, but he'll still learn what his dad expects him to do in a situation that someone's trying to use him, abuse him, push him around, stand up to him, kick him in their weak ass knees, call him a curtain jerker. How are you gonna cost me $100,000, little bitch mother This is my tattoo, and my artist was Christian. This is a very simplistic design. It's a little simple. I wish I could have got the soldier's cross. I did want that. I think he should have gave you what you wanted. He could have showcased his talents a little better. Yeah, this is the time to bring it, and he didn't bring it. Today, you had a true test of ingenuity, a cover-up. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Now it's time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a koi fish as good as Mike Rubendahl's. And your time begins now. Uh, here we go. Japanese style tattooing is near and dear to my heart. It's gonna be pretty traditional Japanese. 
Everything about a koi fish is line work. In the scales, in the fins, line work makes it all work together as one. It definitely don't want water. At all period? Yeah, no. I want him to blossom out of flowers, not water. My canvas is not only picky, but lacks common sense. They don't like the water. Just looks cheesy. That looks cheesy. Yeah, it's not moving in my body. Koi fish are in water. You don't see koi fish tattoos without water. So no way I can talk you to in some water. Just yeah, a bit. no. We can't get no understanding. I feel like I'm talking to a toddler. Well, but what if I draw it on here and just let you take a look and then see if you might like it? You can if you want to, but I don't want water. I don't know how to handle this. I'm so freaking out. Why? It's just a tattoo and it's gonna hurt. It's a needle. Damn, she wants this on her ribs. Can she take it? How are you gonna do the water wave? Well, you say you want it coming from the outside going into the fish? Well, somewhat. Everything that she prefers is against what I'm trying to do. That fish is bigger than what we... No, it's it. This is the original side. I'm gonna shrink it. Can he have one whisker? Right now, mentally, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at it. Like where it's at? It looks weird. He just looks lonely there. I'm exhausted. She's having me change this and change that. That's good. It's right on the blade, though. You got, got your other shoulder blade tattooed already. At home, I own my own shop. If I don't want to do it, I send them on their way. You relax. Put your shoulder down. I got my back against the wall, and I'm having a compromise. Now I feel like I just have a hole in the back. Hole? All right, take a look at that. Yeah, perfect. Let's get it popping, girl. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Bam. Stay up the mirror. It'll make me feel better. We ain't got a whole lot of time, so I gotta get on it. My god, my poor back. I'm not happy with it. It looks like peeing. Like the fish is peeing. What kind of is that? This bitch is crazy. Like, I can't figure out how to please her. You're telling me that that doesn't look like a puddle right now? It's a water splash. Looks like my niece drew it. Well, don't, don't insult me, man. I have to live with this, and you're not paying for my removal. I'm going to fix it. Now, they made it this far, and I've been having all these nutty-ass canvases all this time. She's by far the worst. Now, take a look at that. This is BS right now. Like, I hit. He's too orange, though. And that's the blood leaking through the yellow. You and I are not even on the same page right now. Ain't nobody ever been unpleased with something I did ever my whole life till now. This is plain ignorance. That looks like a pumpkin and a pit. But it, I told you, your skin irritated, so. I'm trying to be nice, and I'm just going to flip your table over. This is on my back. I'm trying to, like, talk to you so we can work together. Your job is to work with me here. This is going to make me flip out, you know what I mean? You're gonna have him continue or you're gonna have him stop? I want him to continue. This is embarrassing. I don't want to go home for this. I cannot let this defeat me. What about the other flower? What happened? Yeah, enough time to finish it. And Keto, your canvas didn't even get you on this one. You got yourself on this one. Today, you had to tattoo head to head with our guest judge. Mike is a master of Japanese tattooing. Let's see what you're up against. Mike, talk to us about your design. My design is a traditional Japanese-style koi fish. I tried to make it look interesting in every aspect. The line work is as crisp as it gets. There's no thicker, thinner lines to cover up. It's solid tattooing. These principles are what make things look strong. And when you come here to compete, you're supposed to have knowledge of these principles to do all these challenges. The bar is definitely set here. Keto. I know you had a struggle, but man, every centimeter of this tattoo shows that struggle. This line work is this poor. She was kicking her feet. Every stroke on that tattoo, she was moving. The drawing is one of the worst layouts of the day. The shape of the water, totally strange. That top lotus flower looks like an artichoke. There's no redeeming qualities to this tattoo whatsoever. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo, and um, the artist was Keto. It looks awful, unfortunately. Nothing melds together. It's all kind of like a collage. It looks like a five-year-old drew it. The blue water looks like another leaf. He told me it was a good idea to add some waves so it could look more realistic. Those waves don't look realistic. Yeah. That was the biggest mistake, was to listen to his idea. He told me, trust him. He has 10 years experience. Back up your work, because definitely it's not there. <sighs> it just looks so bad. Today, you had to show crisp, 
perfect lines, tattooing a Japanese koi fish. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Kido, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I think anybody else that would have had to deal with what I dealt with would have probably been down here too. Excuse me, you messed up my back and you can't take full responsibility for that ugly tattoo. Well, I ended up giving in and pretty much letting her coach the whole drawing. That's not my work. That was all you. And it looks horrible. What specifically don't you like? I don't like the lining, the colors, the flower placement. I don't like the water placement at all. You're dealing with an awful work that you just did on my back that unfortunately I have to live with for like ever. Okay, now I don't like think I said, you're getting that. I'm just too intelligent, man, for any rebuttal right now. Just leave it at that. Mary Jean, I hope that you find a solution to this. Thank you. Thank you. Guido. I can't disagree with your canvas. This is a bad drawing. The end result is a poor tattoo. I was just trying to finish at some point. I was trying to turn something in. I don't think that any one of us find any redeeming qualities in this tattoo. Keto, you let your canvas beat you. If we eliminate the canvas, the fundamentals beat you. So I would have to vote for Keto. The judges have decided. Keto, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Hold it down, man. Get out, man. That's bull to the highest level of bull I'm getting sent home because this canvas with the IQ of a toddler couldn't agree to a design, picked apart my design, couldn't take the tattoo. I pissed the off. Today, you must create pixelated tattoos. Pixelated? What? Damn. Is there an instruction booklet for pixel tattoos? I have no idea how to make one of those. A pixelated tattoo is taking an image and breaking that down into individual squares and individual colors. They take forever to do. So motorcycle was the idea. Yeah, like a drag racing motorcycle. Say the pixelated doesn't fit very well with the motorcycle. What other ideas did you have? Oh, that was what I really wanted to get today. Maybe kind of difficult and One of the this. things I think is cool about it is that I mean, that's one thing you can use to denote the speed, because all the pixels flying off the back. I'm worried that there's a lot of details. All right, the other thing I want is a woman riding the bike. This is a design that I can crash and burn on. We definitely had to go with some black and gray to make sure that we yeah. get a little detail. Yeah, that's fine. So you flexible on that part? Yeah. Awesome, nice. What kind of colors are you going to use? With this, black and gray is going to be the best thing to uh, keep. That's not what I asked for, man. I asked for the graphic, vibrant color. That's what yeah. I want. No, but you did say we were kind of open with the Talked thing, about right? some of the background, having some gray and... No, that's with the motorcycle thing. parts. No, I want color. It's, it's not going to... It, it won't work. You're gonna give me a tattoo, it's gonna be a color tattoo, buddy. Yeah, well, but with the... What no, you're no, wanting... no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. What's going on? I asked for a color tattoo. He came and he showed me this. It's just a matter of turning this from black and gray to color. He said, I can't do this in color. I'm thinking about your skin long term. You know, I just don't think you can do what I asked for. No, color's not an issue for Mike. I think there was just a miscommunication there. Well, now I don't trust him. Why? You didn't listen to me, and it comes back with something totally different than I asked for. I don't want to do it with you. If I can't get what I want, then I'm done. <clears throat> I am completely screwed right now. I even tried to talk him down. I even told him, hey, give me a chance. Let me, let me talk to you. And he was like, no. If I don't do a tattoo today, this could be it. You have six hours to create a head tattoo. And your time starts now. Right on. Come on. Finesse is definitely going to come into play in this particular elimination because head tattoos are painful. So have you tattooed head before? Yeah. Cool. So it's going to take a lot of bedside manner to be able to keep their clients calm and cool throughout the session and really show us what they have. I'm very nervous starting this tattoo. The smaller you do detail, the harder it is to pull it off right. You're doing great. Thank you. You try. Everything in my head right now is telling me a small tattoo is not the best way to go. This is going to send you to the bottom. It's just coming along. So far, so good. I just got to deal with what I got and rock this with confidence. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One. That's it. Time's up. No more ink. Machines down, please. You've done great. <laughs> I could not take a six-hour tattoo on my head. No way. I think you nailed it. Tattoo Baby's tattoo is overwhelmingly flawed. The head's too big, anatomy's a little off, the toes are freaking weird. She's still showing her weaknesses. Tattoo Baby should definitely be going home. Artists, today you had to show your ability to use finesse by tattooing a challenging part of the body, the head. Tattoo Baby. How well do you feel you executed this tattoo? It was pretty challenging for me. There were certain spots where she was crying, but hopefully I helped her soothe through it. You used finesse with your canvas. It was a difficult piece. I like the way you designed her, where she's bound and her legs are up. Only thing I'm having trouble with is that line that looks like the, it's a part of her butt cheek, and then the line going down, it looks like the back of her leg. If I look at a tattoo and I have to figure out what's going on, that's not a successful tattoo. I do feel that you have probably more consistency yeah. in your line weight than potentially Joey for me beating up Joey's outline. However, you look like you're covering up inconsistencies just by the approach of the shading that you took, trying to pack areas with this blue that's inconsistent. That is a hard, hard, hard color to make look great. You took a beautiful structure and you muddied it up. We are here to decide which tattoo is the worst. My artist was Tattoo Baby. I asked for a woman bound in seaweed. The bottom hand, it just- It's contorted. It's, it seems disproportionate. The top hand kind of twisted over in the pinky on the bottom hand that just kind of yeah, doesn't it, set right. The hands are misproportioned and the feet. To me, looking at that tattoo, proportion-wise, it looks great. Great figure, thick and nice booty. It's beautiful, but beautiful doesn't cut the cake. I'm not happy with it. I'd be really happy with it. It looks good. I know what that is. I just didn't know what yours was, my man, and that's all it is. Tattoo baby, Kyle, Joshua, one of you is about to close shop. Tattoo baby, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Oh, wow. I, wow. You've got to be able to get clean lines in. We expected you to make a leap from last year to this year, and I'm not seeing it. I feel like I've been trying to overdo it with my tattoos, and maybe that's why I've been dropping the ball a little bit, but I feel like I do deserve another challenge. I can show you black and gray. I can show you color. You've seen my blending. I draw my ass off, so I really hope you guys give me the chance. Today, these artists are going to be covering up hate tattoos. They really have to put everything aside and do the best cover-up they possibly can. What's going on? What's the story behind that? I was just brainwashed when I was younger. Yeah, and when I got older and had kids, I realized, man, what the hell? I'm trying to do a 360. Well, I'd love to help, man. That's oh, yeah, I appreciate for. that. Right, right on. Ingenuity is always going to play into the cover-up. You should never be able to pick out a section where you know the cover-up is. That's the biggest fail. I wanted a cross with a helmet coming off of it. That's basically a soldier's cross. Exactly. My biggest concern about this tattoo is that it's really large and some weird tattoo going right through the middle. She wants a soldier's cross, but it's not big enough to cover this thing. Uh, anything else if this didn't work for you? No way. If this were in my shop, it would take me three days to come up with a design to cover it properly. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've got a couple of different options for you. My canvas wants a soldier's cross and a six-pointed star to cover this thing up and pay homage to the people that she offended with the original tattoo. The soldier's cross is doable. However, I've got to do it at least that big. So I did one that I know will work, a World War II American Eagle piece. With the six-pointed star, I know it's a totally different direction. Let's but get it. Really? Yeah, badass. Let's get it, man. Luckily, she just wants to get rid of this swastika. She hates it, and she's willing to do whatever it takes. Why did you get the Nazi tattoo to begin with? Uh, is that a question you don't want to Trying to fit in. I got mixed up with the wrong people and did a stupid move when I was 16. I've been carrying that around for 20 years. I don't think I truly understood what it meant and it disgusts me that it's there. I want to turn a negative into a positive. It's caused so much turmoil in my life. To have this thing covered up, man, that's almost surreal, you know? Dude, yeah, that's cool. I'm glad I could be the one to do that. Stoked completely. Got some tricks to pull off. This tattoo isn't working out as good as I expected. There are a lot of wonky lines that are just popping up out of the blue. It is not covering the way I wanted to. My goal is to make it look like a badass tattoo, even if it wasn't covered. And there's a couple spots that get a little bit black. I've never been to the bottom before, and I'm not ready to go now. 
I ain't well, ever got to look at that ugly ass thing again, yeah. man. It's a pretty tough looking tattoo. Yeah, it is. Today, you had to show ingenuity by covering a hate tattoo. Christian. You have some definite challenges in the eagle. Things that really give the eagle the power are going to be the talons in the head. You just did them too small. You want to lock them in and make it powerful and strong. It gets more of a turkey feel than it does an eagle feel. The other thing is, it's two different shaped wings completely. The one closest to us is a big fat square that doesn't have that strong taper. And then the back wing is right. It's got that long feel. You've only got so much time to make every line work. And a lot of decisions I had to make on the fly to cover the straight lines going out. It is what it is, but that's why I did it. But if you had the time to do the non-important flower, that time could have all gone into your main design of the cover-up. At this stage of the game, everything has to be tight because you guys aren't making big mistakes, so it's the little ones that get hit. We are here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo, and my artist was Christian. This is a very simplistic design. It's a little simple. I wish I could have got the soldier's cross. I did want that. I think he should have gave you what you wanted. He could have showcased his talents a little better. Yeah, this is the time to bring it, and he didn't bring it. Today, you had a true test of ingenuity, a cover-up. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Now it's time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Christian, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. January, why did the jury vote Christian to the bottom? They thought that it was a little too simple for as far into the game that he is. He could have done what I asked for, a soldier's cross with maybe a good background. The human canvas jury doesn't understand technicalities of tattooing. I don't believe that what she originally wanted was doable for that particular cover-up. Compared to the other four, I just don't think it was as good. I have not changed my canvas's mind once up until now, and because it was technically impossible for me to do. I do love the tattoo very much. I apologize if uh, it wasn't what you wanted. January, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Christian, a little bit more understanding of traditional shading, this tattoo could have been a lot better. I still think I did a solid tattoo. I think it was technically applied correctly. I don't think I deserved to go home. Nobody wanted that one. And yeah, she's walking away and nobody knows what the is under there. Artists, you have six hours to create a trash polka tattoo. And your time? begins now. All right. Let's do this. The trash polka, it's a real test because it encompasses so many different elements. These artists are going to have to take the imagery the canvas is asking for and find a way to meld all that together to really turn out a beautiful tattoo. Uh, oh, My canvas wants a bunch of random New York I fall the worst spot. I just got shakes. Grease yourself. <laughs> Ah. You're getting an easy spot tattooed? Shut the f up and let me do what I do. Today, you had to use composition to create a trash polka tattoo. Let's see how you did. Tyler. Looking at the tattoo, it is very busy, but at the same time, when I look at composition, if it's interesting, I can overlook mistakes. But the Empire State Building's line, pretty strange. That outline gets a little crazy. I had to hold that kid down. We always compliment you on your application, and this one, some of the line work just gets away. I wasn't trying to go for clean. I wanted to go for like that messy punk rock. In here, always go for clean. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo, and my artist was Tyler. The image was just photoshopped and traced onto my leg. It really wasn't original. I think it's too busy. I think from a distance, I wouldn't know what that was. That Statue of Liberty looks like crap. All he did was Google Statue of Liberty, Googled Empire State Building, copy, paste. Today, your composition was put to the test with trash polka tattoos. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Tyler, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I'm 100% surprised. Everybody uh, pretty much agreed that everything was just very clustered. It's just very unreadable from a distance. What do you think about it? I'm unsatisfied with it. The Empire State Building, it just looks so corny and just stenciled. It's a trash polka tattoo. Tyler, I mean, this is not personal, I'm just saying. 
The tattoo that I came away with, I'm unsatisfied. I did the challenge. I like the tattoo. Thank you very much, Thank Kenny. You guys. Appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Tyler, the design itself has a lot of the style that you were asked to do, but pleasing your clients, that is the mindset you have to have to win this thing and not put yourself up for being at the bottom. That tattoo I put on is dope. Really? Everyone in the room voted for it. It was unanimous that this was the bottom. <laughs> to come on Ink Masters, I expect perfection and greatness, and this is by far not greatness. I apologize on behalf of everybody here. It's not my first bad tattoo. Hey, dude. Thank you. It's a kick in the nuts. I like my tattoo. It's unfortunate that Nick doesn't. You're calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? We're gonna do hot rods and choppers, neo-traditional style. Not my strong point. Probably half the guys here don't know about hot rods and choppers. I'm a gearhead. I'm gonna kill this tattoo, and there ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Good luck. Great to meet you. Let's go to the station and talk. How similar does that look to you? No, I took my turn signals off, so I don't want them on there. Okay, that's um, these little blinker things here? Yes. You better know what turn signal. I thought I picked the cool chick, but this woman's extremely picky. That's a super glide. That's not mine. That's a custom. Looks like a different frame. She's talking about the different parts of the motorcycle. I don't know what she's talking about. And I had an idea if you do the front end coming out of a flower. I know I'm going home if I don't figure out how to do this. When you're doing hot rods and choppers, you want to make them dynamic. The only way to make something dynamic is to bump up the contrast with a lot of black and a lot of bright, solid, bold color. Without that, we're going to really have a flat tattoo, and it'll be easy to pick apart. How is it initially? Not bad? Oh, fine. Tattoo away. I found something that is a close match to her bike, so I was able to do a neo-traditional rendering of it. You kicked their asses, girl. I am. I want to go back home and say, you know what? This chick rocked it. My canvas loves it. It's boosting up my ego a little bit. I think I'm going to do awesome. Definitely feeling color? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. What is that? What, what, what is that little one? Right, right there. Let me grab the picture. I don't understand what this is. That's the, like the other side of the bike, like if you're seeing through it. Now you have an extra line there. This is screwed up. Okay. I don't know what this is. And you got these up with this. Okay. This is your frame. Yeah. You have to get that pipe into there. Okay. How the f did she go from liking the drawing to now having a complete issue? This needs to go under, hun. Is what you're saying? Yeah, we already drew the outline. No, no, no. You can't. I'm, at, I'm just asking, do you want me to straighten that out? There's no way. I can. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her to stop complaining and nitpicking. Make it good. Make it good. If I don't finish this tattoo, I'm Happy tattooing? You can tell that Ashley's canvas is pissed, and I love it. <laughs> Three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. Today, Clean challenged you to tattoo symbols of speed, hot rods and choppers in neo-traditional style. Ashley. The mechanics of this motorcycle do not line up. When it's a tattoo that's gonna be on this lady's arm forever, she's gonna be hanging out with motorcycle people, they're gonna make fun of her. Everybody's gonna look at this tattoo and they're gonna make jokes about how her forks disappear into the headlight. Well, the motorcycle expert, which she was, she could have done her job as a canvas. She was the expert, I was the artist doing my job. So you did this? I don't think I should be penalized for something I don't understand. Well, unfortunately, you get a bad reference, you get a bad canvas, you get a bad tattoo, you get a bad critique, you might go home. Must tattoo a Japanese koi fish. Oh, in front of Chris Nunez. Koi fish rely on clean, solid lines to make them strong, readable images. This thing's got hundreds of scales. It's got lines in its fins. I mean, it's basically built and created out of lines. Without the lines, there is no fish. It's classic position, classic koi design. It's mandatory you do scales and any background of your choice. Damn. That outline is gold. You really don't have an excuse not to come with a strong background and really strong elements to add to the design. Good luck to you. Okay. 
Is ready or what? Thank you, sir. Make me proud. Japanese style tattooing is near and dear to my heart. It's gonna be pretty traditional Japanese. Everything about a koi fish is line work. In the scales, in the fins, line work makes it all work together as one. You definitely don't want water. At all, period? Yeah, no. I want to blossom out of flowers, not water. My canvas is not only picky, but lacks common sense. Why do you don't like the water? Just looks cheesy. That looks cheesy? Yeah, it's not moving in my body. Koi fish are in water. You don't see koi fish tattoos without water. So no way I can talk you to in some water. Just yeah, no. We can't get no understanding. I feel like I'm talking to a toddler. What, but what if I draw it on here and just let you take a look and see if you might like it? You can if you want to, but I don't want water. I don't know how to handle this How you feeling? You about ready to get tatted? No, I'm not ready. Uh -huh. I'm so freaking out. Why? This is a tattoo and it's gonna hurt. It's a needle. Damn, she wants this on her ribs. Can she take it? How are you gonna do the water wave? Well, you say you want it coming from the outside going into the fish? Well, somewhat. Everything that she prefers is against what I'm trying to do. That fish is bigger than what we... No, it's it. This is the original side. I'm gonna shrink it. Can he have one whisker? Right now, mentally, I'm losing it. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a koi fish as good as Mike Rubendahl's. And your time begins now. I'll let you take a look at it. Like what it said? It looks weird. He just looks lonely there. I'm exhausted. She's having me change this and change that. That's good. It's right on the blade, though. You got, got your other shoulder blade tattooed already. At home, I own my own shop. If I don't want to do it, I send them on their way. You relax. Put your shoulders down. I got my back against the wall, and I'm having a compromise. Now I feel like I just have a hole in the back. Hole? All right, take a look at that. Yeah, perfect. Let's get it popping, girl. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Stop, 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 stop. Bam. Stay up the mirror. It'll make me feel better. We ain't got a whole lot of time, so I gotta get on it. My God, my poor back. I'm not happy with it. It looks like pee. Like the fish is pee. What kind of is that? This bitch is crazy. Like, I can't figure out how to please her. You're telling me that that doesn't look like a puddle right now? It's a water splash. Looks like my niece drew it. Well, don't, don't insult me, man. I have to live with this, and you're not paying for my removal. I'm going to fix it. Now, they made it this far, and I've been having all these nutty-ass canvases all this time. She's by far the worst. Two hours to go. Now, take a look at that. This is BS right now. Like, I hit. He's too orange, though. And that's the blood leaking through the yellow. You and I are not even on the same page right now. Ain't nobody ever been unpleased with something I did ever my whole life till now. This is on my back. I'm trying to, like, talk to you so we can work together. Your job is to work with me here. It's gonna make me flip out, you know what I mean? You're gonna have him continue or you're gonna have him stop? I want him to continue. This is embarrassing. I don't want to go home for this. I cannot let this defeat me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. No more ink. What about the other flower? What happened? And no time to finish it. And Keto, your canvas didn't even get you on this one. You got yourself on this one. Keto. I know you had a struggle, but man, every centimeter of this tattoo shows that struggle. This line work is this poor. She was kicking her feet. She was moving. The drawing is one of the worst layouts of the day. The shape of the water, totally strange. That top lotus flower looks like an artichoke. There's no redeeming qualities to this tattoo whatsoever. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo, and the artist was keto. It looks awful, unfortunately. Nothing melds together. It's all kind of like a collage. It looks like a five-year-old drew it. The blue water looks like another leaf. He told me it was a good idea to add some waves so it could look more realistic. Those waves don't look realistic. Yeah. That was the biggest mistake, was to listen to his idea. He told me, trust him. He has 10 years experience. Back up your work, because definitely it's not there. <sighs> Just looks so bad. Today, you had to show crisp, perfect lines tattooing a Japanese koi fish. 
It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. You're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I think anybody else that would have had to deal with what I dealt with would have probably been down here too. Excuse me, you messed up my back and you can't take full responsibility for that ugly tattoo. I ended up giving in and pretty much letting her coach the whole drawing. That's not my work. That was all you. And it looks horrible. What specifically don't you like? I don't like the lining, the colors, the flower placement. I don't like the water placement at all. You're dealing with an awful work that you just did on my back. Unfortunately, I have to live with for like ever. Okay, now I don't like think I said, you're getting that. I'm just too intelligent, man, for any rebuttal right now. Just leave it at that. Mary Jean, I hope that you find a solution to this. Thank you. Thank you. You know. I can't disagree with your canvas. This is a bad drawing. The end result is a poor tattoo. I was just trying to finish at some point. I was trying to turn something in. Final decision. It just didn't have any kind of composition that I can get behind. Keto, you let your canvas beat you. If we eliminate the canvas, the fundamentals beat you. So I would have to vote for Keto. The judges have decided. Keto, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Hold it down, man. Get out of here. That's bull to the highest level of bull I'm getting sent home because this canvas with the IQ of a toddler couldn't agree to a design, picked apart my design, couldn't take the tattoo. I'm pissed the off. Using the model you just painted as your reference, you must all tattoo a pinup. Pinups are hard already. These things have hands, feet, and faces, and the judges rip those apart every single time. This blows, man. As you transform your pinups from real life into tattoos, it's up to you to improve your designs. Remember, you're being judged on artistry. All right, you have six hours to tattoo a pinup. If your tattoo isn't gorgeous, you'll be packing your machines. And your time begins now. I didn't raise no fool, bro. I had a football player model, and I convinced my canvas to change it to a military-style pinup. They're sexier. I could show more artistry in that. I'm ready. I'm hungry. $100,000 on the line, and I'm getting that money. That's different. LT has the worst tattoo in this challenge. His lines are shaky. It's scratchy. His lack of experience is obvious. He doesn't stand a chance. Today, you all went head-to-head -head tattooing the same subject, a pinup. I sincerely hope that this is not everybody's best work. If you feel like you really did your best tattoo today, then get ready to go home. LT. It's a big-ass mouth she got. She definitely doesn't come off with that cute look. You gotta remember that when you do these small little faces, the smallest little mistake makes a big impact. My biggest mistake is I went too small with the piece. But there are good tattooers out there that can bust out a pinup girl this size and do it perfectly. If you can't stack up to what we know is possible, then it doesn't look good for you. LT. There's so many shortcomings. His line work, the eyes, the eyebrows, the lips. It's a mess. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo. My artist was LT. There's really not a whole lot I like about it. The face is not appealing at all. Yeah. It looks like Ronald McDonald dressed in drag. Her foot is turning outward, and her boobs are down here. I don't think any of it is really proportioned no, correctly. It it's just ugly, man. That's flat out ugly. Today, you had to tattoo a pinup using artistry to make her beautiful from head to toe. Tim, LT, and Robbie, one of you is going to pack your machines. LT, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. The overall design and the application was really lost in translation. There were a lot of mistakes and misfires that could have been avoided. I know deep down inside my heart that I can tattoo better than these guys. I have more to show. This is not my best work by far. You need to put out your best work in this competition to win. The judges have decided.
LT. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It was a tough day for you. You have about 10% of the experience of the guys next to you. And those guys are technically a lot more solid than you are. Please pack your machines and close shop. I am so disappointed in myself. Probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. The fact that America gets to see it and doesn't get to see what LT is really capable of truly sucks. For this elimination tattoo, we're going new school. Oh, wow. <laughs> new school's more cartoony pop vibe. You can't exaggerate stuff. You can go as crazy as you want. New school tattoos are bold, bright, and include fantastical designs. My canvas wants a sun and a moon tattoo on her upper back. You know, we might not even need this. All around? I mean, no, we do. What I'm trying to figure out now is the design. It's almost impossible because she's constantly contradicting herself. I don't want the face. So I can use, like... I mean, you could do the face. It's up to you. I mean, honestly... You don't say it's up to me, because then you just change your mind instantly. Don't I say it's because it, you said it's up to me I about eight times. I want it to look good. I know, but you, so you're very picky. should I trust you? Should I not trust you? But you're not you trusting me? me. Every time you say it's up to me, you're like, oh, it's not. So I'm drawing things, and then you're like, Because you're not no. sure of yourself. I don't even know what to do. I just don't know how to handle this. Actually, I do These have colors. another idea. What do you want? It's basically a heart. It's your call right now, but like, definitely need to settle on something. You have six hours to prove your color skills with a new school design. And your time begins now. You said you didn't really want it cartoony, so yeah. I colored it darker. Oh, wow. That's uh, on the ball. Cool. I'm very proud of yeah. you. Thanks. Uh, it was hard. Yeah. <laughs> cool. My canvas has like five personalities. She goes from being psycho crazy to giving me hugs. Just crazy. Check it out. Very centered. I mean, it's not a symmetrical design. Getting tattooed by Nick is going to be a total challenge, and I'm a little nervous. You better uh, do it right. That's a little high. You want to go lower? Yeah. All right. She's got a couple weird requests, but she's being a good client. <laughs> I'm actually relieved. Hallelujah. To tell you the truth, it looks ugly. OK. You see those three spikes? Mm -hmm. That doesn't look right. You kept telling me to do whatever I want. You went overboard with those thins. I don't like it at all. That's not in the drawing. Why did you do that? You're freaking me, oh my god. All right, we have to fix this. For some reason, the five little magenta spikes I add totally destroyed the entire tattoo for her. This is insane. You added that without telling me. Why would you sit back you down? You said more magenta, I said yes. You didn't say magenta spikes. That is not my style. If someone's not happy with permanent work that's on their body, that's a really justified reason to freak out. But there's spikes on the vines. How is spikes not your style? You're making me even angrier. I mean, who wants to get work done by, like, a prick? You don't do that. And especially, it's on my back. I can't see it. You're taking advantage of that. Dude, that chick is nuts in there, man. I need something other than this. I really don't want to change it. I like it. Are you kidding me? And the girl in there screaming like that, man. Remember who designed the whole tattoo? Oh, give me a break. That's what I thought. Nick is just a really nice guy. There are some clients that you cannot be that nice to. You just said you're not changing it. And I that's what this is about. You're not changing change it. Because you're change not changing it, in it because it's your work. Is that what this is? She's just crazy. I'm in the biggest tattoo competition, and she's just not giving me any leeway. Just digging my grave for me. You really just did that without telling me. Like, just admit that you right now. You do whatever you want. You added spiky crap. Where there's skin in the spikes, I can do yellow, if you want it. Do the yellow. Just do the yellow. Are you sure? I'll do it. What I'm trying to do is do exactly what she wants so that I can survive in the competition. Why would he do that? to piss me off. Time's up, that's it. Machine's down, no more ink. You freaked me out. I almost had a panic attack. This is one of the best tattoos she even has on her body. I just never want to deal with a client like this ever again. This week, you had six hours to complete a new school tattoo. We're testing you on color. Nick. Did she want a sacred heart? She had 50 other ideas. This is the last thing we had drawn up. She was absolutely insane. At times like that, you just have to be able to work with her. It was just crazy. She's just a little off the wall. What's coming out of the heart? Smoke. 
smoke. We really think it looks like a used tissue. <laughs> Why would you put magenta around a red heart? I was just under the impression that new school was weird. That's not right. It's done to be done. When you do tattoos, have a rhyme or reason. <sighs> You're f***ing your tattoo up. Unfortunately, someone has to go home. I think this tattoo drops you down a little bit and may put you in that category. The judges have decided. Nick, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. At the end of the day, we gotta let somebody go. Need you to pack up your machines and go home. I would still be in the competition if I got a canvas that was more open. My canvas is definitely the reason I'm going home. I didn't know how to put up with her. The whole thing is just upsetting. It just sucks that I had to be put out of the competition because of that. All right, Sarah, welcome back. This week, you're calling the shots. What is the next elimination tattoo? Today, we will be tattooing a surrealistic female. A what? Surrealism is a juxtaposition between dreams and reality. You can include any surrealistic elements to distort or warp portions of the face. What the f are all these big words are using? 75% of the face has to show. Sarah, why did you choose this as your elimination tattoo? The female face is one of the most difficult portraits. You have to have perfect blends, perfect saturation, and precision. Dang. Of course she's gonna choose something like this because it's only her that understands what she's talking about. Good luck. Sarah has chosen surrealistic faces. It'll be a face with an object melding together. Atom bomb going off in the back and like half of the city is torn down already and the outside's still pristine. The woman's face right in the middle just kind of looking forward. The composition is everything in this tattoo because taking two things and constructing them together is gonna create a lot of flow and a lot of movement on the canvas's body if you do it right. All right, guys, Sarah Miller challenged you to tattoo a surrealistic female. You will have six hours to tattoo. Your time starts now. It is, man. As soon as we get done with these buildings, I'm gonna move to her. My canvas wants a surrealistic setting of Philadelphia being blown apart by a nuclear bomb along with a girl's face. I'll be using my girlfriend, his reference. She's hot, it'll work. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, having a good day. This mother might be going home. Last week, knocked out St. Mark. It would be gigantic if we could take out another veteran. I'm expecting something good here. All right, mister. What are you thinking, dude? Um, man, I think Alex should have done a different face. He said the face he's doing is his girlfriend. Yeah, this off. Today, Sarah challenged you to show composition by tattooing a surrealistic female. Alex. 100% the most surreal face of the day. I don't know if that's a good thing. So I understand that you used your girlfriend's image as reference. The photo that you use, she's at an angle that's tilted like this. Right. I don't feel that you interpreted that angle well and you created a face that has more of a traditional alien shape. I think when people look at it, they'll get the idea. I don't know if they will. You didn't get that depth. You didn't get that perspective. I saw the photo, looks like a beautiful girl on the photo, looks like a freak of nature on the tattoo. Is it safe to say Alex is in the bottom today? Yes. The drawing itself, the composition is terrible. Worst face of the day. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo. My artist was Alex Rocka. Her one cheekbone is definitely a lot higher than the other one. It's not a very pretty face. <laughs> that sucks. It's almost like a scary woman's face. Yeah. yeah. I wanted a beautiful woman's face. It's very wicked witch. I gotta live with this forever, and that nose is Yeah. Today, you were judged on composition. And based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Now it's time to find out who the human canvas jury voted for. Oh, that. Alex, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Nick, why did the jury vote for Alex? The shade, the cheekbones are too pronounced, the eyes are off level, the nose is butchered. That's that tattoo I put on is dope. Really? Everyone in the room voted for it. It was unanimous that this was the bottom. To come on Ink Masters, I expect perfection and greatness, and this is by far not greatness. I apologize on behalf of everybody here. It's not my first bad tattoo. Hey, dude. Thank you. It's a kick in the nuts. I like my tattoo. It's unfortunate that Nick doesn't. I thought my tattoo was fun and colorful. I mean, her tattoo was pretty much butchered. It looked dark as 
And then Clean's tattoo was messy. I really didn't think my tattoo would be even close to that. It's unanimous that the tattoo, the face itself, is unappealing. From clients, your peers, definitely from us. You know, Alex, even with the bright colors you were able to put in that skyline, just the shape of the face, it's hard to get over. For me, Alex, it's, it's the most unrealistic face of the day. The judges have decided, Alex, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You've came into a season that is the best of the best. This looks like a finale, and you're here with them. So you made it far, man. Don't bum out. Head up. Always head up. Please pack your machines and close shop. Okay. I still feel like I had the most wearable tattoo down there. And that's why I'm a little perturbed. The tattoo is solid. And if anybody wants to knock me for it, you can kiss my ass. Today, you must tattoo a style that is quickly growing in popularity. Trash polka. Wow. What the is that? Trash polka combines realistic images with abstract elements, and they're all about making a composition that's dynamic and appealing. Oh, my God. Composition is a huge thing in Trash Polka. There are a lot of elements that need to work together, and you have to have a good balance of beauty and chaos. Trash Polka is a style that originated in Europe, and these tattoos are usually done in only black and gray with red accents. Artists, you have six hours to create a Trash Polka tattoo, and your time begins now. Uh... My canvas wants a bunch of random New York I fall the worst spot. I got shakes. Grease yourself. <laughs> ah. You're getting an easy spot tattooed? Shut the up and let me do what I do. Three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Today, you had to use composition to create a trash polka tattoo. Let's see how you did. Tyler. Looking at the tattoo, it is very busy, but at the same time, when I look at composition, if it's interesting, I can overlook mistakes. But the Empire State Building's line pretty strange. That outline gets a little crazy. I had to hold that kid down. We always compliment you on your application, and this one, some of the line work just gets away. I wasn't trying to go for clean. I wanted to go for like that messy punk rock. In here, always go for clean. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo and my artist was Tyler. The image was just photoshopped and traced onto my leg. It really wasn't original. I think it's too busy. I think from a distance, I wouldn't know what that was. That Statue of Liberty looks like crap. All he did was Google Statue of Liberty, Googled Empire State Building, copy, paste. Today, your composition was put to the test with trash polka tattoos. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Tyler, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I'm 100% surprised. Everybody uh, pretty much agreed that everything was just very clustered. It's just very unreadable from a distance. What do you think about it? I'm unsatisfied with it. The Empire State Building, it just looks so corny and just stenciled. It's a trash polka tattoo. Tyler, I mean, this is not personal. I'm just saying the tattoo that I came away with, I'm unsatisfied. I did the challenge. I like the tattoo. Thank you very much, Thank Kenny. You guys. Appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Tyler, the design itself has a lot of the style that you were asked to do, but pleasing your clients, that is the mindset you have to have to win this thing and not put yourself up for being at the bottom. I just want to clear up that it's important to me to finish your tattoo because I love that tattoo. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, that to me was a portfolio piece. Yeah, it's and I wanted day. you to finish it. And after a year, I had to go and get it finished for my local no, tattoo shop. No, you got somebody else to finish it? I, yeah. Today, you must create an animal tattoo. Remember, we're testing dimension. If that animal isn't leaping off your canvas, you'll be going home. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Oh my god. Yeah.
My canvas wants a portrait style Jaguar. You know, I'm super stoked about it. It's perfect. I'm gonna show a lot of dimension. This is the exact design that I need to win. Hopefully the pain will be that bad. <laughs> I don't there wanna be are. that girl. That's so unpleasant. I feel like a little bit nauseous right now. I'm concerned. Is it the pain, you know? You want me to just give you like a little break? I can just stretch out a minute. Damn, we just freaking started. How are you feeling right now? I'm like really dizzy right now. My canvas, she's just not feeling well. Take a deep breath. I'm praying to everything for her to feel better. I really want to finish this tattoo. <sighs> Try and relax. I'm just nauseous and I'm dizzy. Like, I don't feel good right now at all. <sighs> Two more hours remaining, everybody. <sighs> <sighs> you think you're gonna throw up? Why is this happening to me right now? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> This is the worst thing you can have happen. She's a good tattoo artist. She could be going home just because the canvas can't sit. She's in trouble. Oh my God. It really, really sucks. If my canvas doesn't let me finish this tattoo, I'm going home. 10 more minutes, everybody. How are you feeling? You feel like you could do a little bit more? As time is ticking down, I'm trying to finish the rest of this tattoo as fast as I can. Will you ever do another five hour tattoo? Hell no. Mm -hmm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, mm. 3, 2, 1. Time, that's it. Machine's down. No more ink. I mean, I like it for what it is. I am so freaking upset. Like, words cannot explain how I'm feeling right now. I know that having an unfinished tattoo is going to send me home. That's it, it's done. Bye-bye, Tattoo Baby. Tattoo Baby, welcome back. It's not every day an artist asks to come in here and sit down with me. To what do I owe the pleasure? I came back because my favorite part was redemption. Really? So I can make it up to my canvases and also redeem myself. What does it feel like to have been in the competition and to go home so close to the win, knowing there are a few canvases that are actually unhappy with the work? I look back at the show and I'm literally screaming at myself, why did I do that line? Why did I draw that that way? Like, I know better. It must be driving you crazy. Exactly. That's my work out there representing me, and it's not the best representation of me. And I wish there was something that I could do about it. What if I was to suggest to you that we go find some of these unhappy canvases? What do you mean? I'm saying that you and I get into the car and That's go find crazy, some of these Dave. people. I'm totally down for it. Let's do it. You in? Yeah, let's go. After you, my dear. You're the first artist to ever ask to come back and see a canvas. I'm very nervous. You and should I'm be nervous. I'm very curious. Where are we going? What canvas? You know one tattoo that's always bothered me that I never got to finish? <laughs> Remember that Jaguar tattoo I did on a girl named Veronica? I have no clue what it was, but she just completely threw up. But had it not been for that, it probably would have been tattoo of the day. That thing was gorgeous. I didn't get to finish the tattoo. I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. For your sake, enough of this tattoo got done for us to judge what we need to see here today. You had a lot against you, and you pulled off a lot of tricks in half the time of everybody else. For that, we commend you. We should go check her out, see if she'll let me finish out her tattoo. I think that we should just roll up on her house. Like, let's not even call. You know we what I mean? We should just surprise her how we surprise Kristen. Why not? Let's do it. I don't think nobody's home. Hear that? Yeah, I think they're in the back. All right, let's go. They're back there. We're gonna go check it out right now. Veronica. Hi. It's us. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's a shocker. Hi. Hello. 
I just want to clear up that it's important to me to finish your tattoo because I love that tattoo. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you know, that to me was a portfolio piece. Yeah, it's and I wanted day. you to finish it. And after a year, I had to go and get it finished from my local tattoo No, you shop. got somebody else to finish it? I, yeah. I'm kind of disappointed that you got it finished yeah. somewhere else. I was blamed for the tattoo not being finished. But you are the reason that we didn't finish your tattoo. Tattoo Baby has just come to your home to try and make you happy. I just wish it happened four years ago so she could have been the one to, you know. I want to do something to be able to make you happy and redeem myself for not finishing your tattoo. We would like to extend an invitation to you to come to the Ink Master shop mm -hmm. and get something new done by Tattoo Baby. I, I don't know. I mean, would you let me think about it? The ball's on your court. OK. Bye, guys. I'm really not sure if I trust Tattoo Baby right now. Do I run the risk of something else not being completed? I didn't think you were going to come back. I was really nervous. This time, we won't do something so detailed and big. There was a tattoo that I had gotten when I was young, and I would wonder if you would be interested in covering it. Oh, OK, so another difficult tattoo. I got this when I was very young. It's not going to be an easy cover-up. <laughs> what I was thinking is I'm a face painter, so I wanted to do something to collaborate makeup and painting. This is becoming very challenging. Tattoo baby. Girls, come on down. Let's start with Veronica. What did you ask for? I actually asked her to do a cover-up. Was it a challenging cover-up? Yes. I know some are harder than others. <laughs> what made this more challenging was the elements that she wanted. This is what I came up with. She told me that it was very important to her to have face painting elements and makeup because it's what she loves to do. So I thought it would be a cool idea if I put the eye of a child with face makeup of a butterfly kind of camouflaged into the compact. Do you feel very strong that this will cover the dragon? I'm confident that it's going to cover the dragon. What I am nervous about is the time. But if you're feeling well, you tell me, do you like the design? I love the design. I think it's mind blowing. You gotta be psyched about that. You ready? Mm hmm. On the way to your house, it never occurred to me that you could have gone and finished it somewhere else. When you told me, I was heartbroken. Four years passed by. Obviously, nobody's gonna walk around with an unfinished tattoo for that long. And I guess it was a reminder as well of how your experience went, because then yeah. every time somebody has to ask you, hey, why isn't it finished? It's like. Yeah, and not only that, but like with you being in a different state, I kind of figured maybe this might not ever happen. That's why I was just so shocked that you showed up. And that was pretty crazy. I think we're done. Let's take a look at this thing. All right. Oh, my god. I love all the details, the paintbrushes, even all the lace. It's beautiful. I'm very <laughs> glad you're happy. Baby, come on down here. Bring Veronica. Can I take a look? Yeah. Wow, that dragon is gone. Are you happy? I'm ecstatic. Was she a rock? She didn't move, she didn't complain, nothing. She just sat down and took it. Redemption for Tattoo Baby. Absolutely have redemption. I think she got redemption as well. Two for two. Yes. Look at you. Both of my canvases are happy. I got the redemption I needed. I can finally relax. I feel like the weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm always Likewise. so happy to see you, baby. Bye, ladies. This was definitely a very memorable experience. Going to you and Kristen's job and house was crazy. But out of a tough situation came out something beautiful. And thank you so much for coming back. I definitely agree. Thank you so much. the design and if you don't want to do it I'm just gonna tattoo it on myself at this point there are two sides to every story maybe we should hear from your canvas but you're not happy to see me I want a metal plate that bolts like a PCB circuit board some of the stuff you want will not work 
for this challenge. If I give my canvas the tattoo that he wants, I'm going home today. I definitely want the machine screws, you know, like a real robot. That's not considered biomechanical. Sure, what I showed of course you, it is. Any, anything... It's considered mechanical. Right, biomechanical. Biomechanical. Part. I'm not going to risk my livelihood for your stupid tattoo idea that has nothing to do with the challenge. If we do not follow the challenge, it'll send me home. Robots are not biomechanical. What I showed you originally... Are robots mechanical or not? But yes. if you don't meet the challenge... It meets and if the you challenge. Go off, can you let me finish? My canvas is a straight-up ass... We need to have some respect right now. I'm trying to be respectful, but you're not compromising. You're just telling me what I'm to do. I'm willing to move a little bit, but you've got to come and move with me, too. I'm getting so frustrated. You're getting frustrated. This guy is not receptive at all. He's stressing me out so bad. You could do that style some, but... The challenge is this style. So how can I do it some if the challenge is this style? Give me some direction or go. Punch in some. Don't be like, punch in some, uh, uh. My children are depending on me right now, and his things he wants in this tattoo are going to send me home, and I can't let that happen. You need to go so I can get to work. Right, but I want to see what you're... Go. How you doing? All right, so this is what I've come up with. I got the cables coming around, and then we have the bio part, which is what they're looking for. And if you don't like it, I'm just gonna tattoo it on myself. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. All right, go on. You should, I mean, it's Peace. just nothing. Bye. It's my tattoo, it's on my body, so I want ideas that I had, too. I'm trying to work with her, and she's not willing to work with me not one bit. Are you willing to compromise a little bit? No. Because you really didn't put anything that I, I wanted to. I put cables of metal in there. You don't, don't worry want, about it. You I don't got want to tattoo on myself. I compromised a lot on this. You didn't compromise. And I really you do a great tattoo. No, you don't. You kept saying all kinds there of no stupid. Rod. I'm not putting pistons I didn't want in pistons. I said plates you... and cables. No, 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 no. I didn't say. I said some metal. Goodbye. Metal Have rods. a nice life. Go f yourself. Julia turned into a total insane person. If she can't treat people with respect, she shouldn't be here. Julia. There were some unusual circumstances with you and your canvas. Before we get into that, let's discuss the work that you have presented for us. This is probably the strongest thing as a judge I've seen you do. It has a lot of contrast, it has a lot of depth. So Julia, now let's talk about what happened in your consult. I was trying really hard to be very patient, but the guy just kept cutting me off, and I was just like, I'm trying to work with you. I'm trying to do what you want. And then at one point, he shushed me. So I was just like, look, this is the design, and if you don't want to do it, I'm just going to tattoo it on myself at this point. There are two sides to every story. Maybe we should hear from your canvas. me. Should I go F off now? Hey, buddy. Thanks for joining us. No problem. What is your side of the story? She hated every idea that I had. She said they were all crap. She no, said they're I all so they're outdated. All she just said, I have to do her tattoo or I wasn't getting a tattoo. And I said, well, can't you just change anything? She's like, I will not change nothing. I was on the, the computer the whole time just like, well, let me show you this. Let me show you this. And I was like, just tell me the components yeah. you want then. And, and yeah, but you were super rude about it. You have to always work with that client or starve and not feed your family. Exactly. Okay, because that is how we make our money, is working with our clients. Everyone that At knows this point, me as an artist knows how I listen, am. Listen, just has... stop. Stop. Don't dig it deeper. Mark, thank you very much, okay, man. Thank Good luck, you. buddy. I compromised a lot on this. You didn't compromise. And I really me. need to do a great tattoo. Goodbye. But no have rocks. a nice life. Go yourself. Go yourself. Now, that has never happened here. If I told her to go off first or whatever, I would understand her defending herself. But she had nothing to defend because I was being as nice as possible. Did it with your head at all? I watched it over and over and said, is there something I did that deserved this? Because I did not see any aggression from you. No, I, I wanted to come back because after it all happened, there was a whole other backlash on me. 
from, I guess, her fans. For a guy who didn't get tattooed, who tried to work with his artist, that's a lot to deal with. Yeah, it was, it was. We're super sorry that this happened. I have an artist standing by, and this artist is willing to work with you on a design of your choice. You can decide, I'd like to get this tattoo, or you can decide, you know what, it's not for me, and head home. You open to that idea? Absolutely, yeah. Why don't you head in the shop and meet your artist, okay. man? Thank you very much. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. I'm nervous. Who wouldn't be? The last time I walked into the shop, I got told to go f myself. I've wanted this tattoo for a year. I'm nervous about anybody who's going to be able to pull it off. You got it. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I had a feeling it was like, going to uh, be you. Yeah. Just don't swear at me this time. The last time you were here, we had the stress of the competition. Like, that was biomechanical day. But technically, what I wanted falls into biomechanical anyway. I still think we could have we could have compromised on something that day. If the day were different, if it were just a normal day, that wouldn't have happened. The night before, my whole home life kind of exploded. My kids were in trouble. Like, flipped this thing in my brain where it was kind of like a fight or flight. Everybody has lapses. You can't lose control like that. Knowing that you're gonna go home to absolutely nothing with two kids, no house, nothing. It wasn't right to say that to you. I'd like to make it up to you, man. Okay, hey, let's see what you got, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want to tattoo Mark more than anything because he didn't really get to see the real me that day. He got to see the angry and frustrated Julia. I'm going to give Mark a design that he can't say no to. Hey, Julia. Hi, how's it going, Dave? Good, come on over. Nice to see you, dear. How was the consult with Julia? Relieving to see that she wasn't going to yell at me this time. It's all about redemption. Everybody yeah, makes mistakes. Everybody deserves second chances. I'm glad that Mark is giving me a second chance to make things right for him. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Do you want to take a look at this thing? Absolutely. Julia, let's see this design. Hmm. We have the piston. We wanted some cables and put a little bit of the skin rips in there so it looked like it's actually in the process of ripping apart. Mark, up to you, 150%. Would you like to get this design today? <sighs> Dave, absolutely. Without a doubt. Wonderful. Awesome, awesome. Thank wow. you, Mark. I'm so excited. I was hoping that you would love it. That's why I just. Yes, it's amazing. Julia, redemption on the line. Why don't you guys head to the shop and get going? Were you a fan of the show before you came on? Or? Yeah, but I never thought I would be on it. It was my husband's idea for me to audition. He's passed away three weeks ago. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I really wanted to do this just to make him proud, you know? It's far and beyond what really should be expected of anybody, so. And I know if I didn't do it, he'd be yelling at me, like, why would you, why would you do it? You gotta do it, just do it. Everything will be fine. How come you didn't get this tattoo after our whole incident on the show. The tattoo gods were like, nope, forget about it. <laughs> and now you're finally getting it. Yeah. All right, buddy. May I take a look? Do you love it? Holy <laughs> It's amazing. I'm so glad you like it. Yay. That is sick. So do I get my redemption? Yeah, I think you've earned it this time. Absolutely. Wonderful. Amazing. I'm so glad Thank you so you much. Too. Wow. After getting kicked out of the shop, getting told to go myself, and waiting a whole damn year, I got to come back and get this awesome tattoo. I changed Mark's view of me. I got my redemption with an amazing tattoo that people are going to remember I did. And I know it makes my husband proud of me, too. Thank Give me you. a hug, Thank buddy. Thank you so much.